Too annoying. There we go. Hello. Let's see if this audio works. Attention. Oh yeah, that clearly works. Okay. Uh, it's good. Maybe make this a bit soft. I, I noticed it was really loud. It's like too soft. annoying. There we go. Oops, there I am. Hey there, this is the latest chapter when I first discovered Desperate Heart. Oh my, that was a while ago, wasn't it? That was... Yeah, oh my gosh, May 2022. Well, no, this is a free time event, so maybe this was released um, a bit a bit later, maybe. Hopefully there's no spoilers. Um, no, it's doing the glitch again. Don't do the glitch, man. My, uh, Advertising the stream. Last time I got a little tired, so there was no stream last time, but fear not. We are here this time. And have a good time. Hello, Wince. Okay, uh, oh, oh, OBS. No, not good. Not good. There we go. There we go. Uh, well, without further ado, let's go start. This is a fan-made spin-off and is not affiliated with any official Dungeon We have a uh, bit of a long road ahead of us, so this is might as well start. At 15. I don't want to say either your voice is too quiet or the video is too loud. Is My goodness, it did the thing again. The microphone did the thing again, where it lowers for no reason. I don't understand why. Why does it do that? Oh no, it did. No, I didn't do it that time. What? That's weird. Huh. Interesting. It actually didn't do the thing that time. Hmm. Go ahead of us. So, phone did the thing again. No, I didn't do it that time. What? That's weird. Okay, let me let me slightly raise it. There we go. Mic is so weird because like it needs to be extremely like low gain or else it'll be like the worst thing ever. There's like no in between. It's either the worst thing ever or it's like half decent. <laughs> Then again, the mic is like four years old now, so it's getting kind of old. All right, free time event. Let's do this. It's Hello. Palano. Hey, how are you, Apacho? I'm good, Mike. Thank you. Thanks for asking. I've been doing well. Just wash the dishes, in fact. Being a good Samaritan. Is that really a job? You should always be chivalrous, Apacho. I've been cleaning to Felicity. Be a man. Oops. Be a... Uh, what did that say? Be a man and offer to do her work. Oh, I, I, I don't think you should say that in this day and age. Oh, okay, okay, that's another foreshadowing. That's another foreshadowing. Maybe Palato is old-fashioned. You know, maybe he's from the past. Right, even so, you go everywhere with Felicity. Follow your instructions no matter what. I'm my own person. She's just a friend. Oh, all right. What do you want? Sleepwear? Synth sleepwear? Is free for a limited time. What's the deal with that even? That isn't a what? observation. Sleep in the sleepwear? Why, it's my own personal clothing brand, specialized in pajamas, links to my talent, see? I'll be honest with you, you seem more in involved with your brands than the actual on it. Ah. Well, honorology. Yeah, well recently I haven't had much of a chance to practice, and honestly I didn't use it much in the past either. As for the brands, well, you see an opportunity for money making, you take it. So your image is more associated with these brands than your actual ability? Yeah, most likely. I think people know me more as Synth Sleepwear post Poster Guy than Palano Synth, the Oriolidist. You got your energy drink too? Five ball energy, drink it out every day. Very enjoyable. I wasn't paid to say that, but with an endless supply for free, I suppose I'm biased. Ah, so you enjoy that publicity, or do you prefer to be known for what you're actually good at? Question. Oh, good question. No wonder you're the ultimate journalist. I'd say the free stuff is nice, and I actually write a, and I actually write a column in an online magazine for advice about dreams. Ah, online magazines. Mm. Not a fan, huh? Hey, I get paid, so I don't care about that. I don't want to run your gigs, but you say you barely use your talent. Not really. Although I get picked for a special job recently. But I can't talk about that. Right, but you would rather, you'd say your brands take more priority than your talent. I guess so. So yeah, why do you ask? You understand these companies using your notoriety and status as an ultimate student for profit. Slapping your face in their product will send more of it. That is Slow down there, Slick. You've got the wrong idea. People buy the products, the products for that, the product. I'm just involved in marketing. You're a walking advertisement. You got the product strapped on your leg. Am I dreaming? It's a good drink. Helps me with my insomnia. Or at least helps me stay awake. Ironic. You see, you're selling an energy drink and have insomnia. You're being exploited. Why don't you get that? Oh. Hmm. Don't know what you're talking about, kid. Leave the business talk to us adults. It'd be preferable if you left now. What? Palano? Ugh. Ah, you want some sleepwear or not? Ah, wait, just one last question. Journalists never fail to overstay their welcome. 
Ah, you said you got a special job recently. What's that about? Oh. You know why I hate journalists? No. Ah, best I keep that. Best I keep that to myself. How about a tip? Sure. Well, would you look at Quit bothering people. Personal space is more important than the scoop. You got that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, great. See you at dinner, Akapashio. And we get his underpants. That's great. Oh man. So right off the bat, my first criticism is that why why isn't this voice? If they're only gonna get one free time event and it's four minutes long, and the trials aren't even voiced in the first place, why don't they just voice this? It's like a three minute scene, you get to hear the voice actors in action, it saves my my voice <laughs> for one. Like I get that the Danganronpa, you know, the Danganronpa free time events aren't voiced, but I, I, I just think it would be a lot more creative and you know, utilize the voice actors that you have. You know, four minutes is not a lot of time. Like four minutes, it's not too bad. I don't know. It seems I, I I get sticking to the formula, but like for me at least with, with this venture camp, that's kind of what I want to change. Is that we change the total drama formula? Um, and here it I don't know. I, I don't I don't like it when things stick to the formula of what they're parodying. I guess I guess it's not parodying. I guess this is trying to be like Danganronpa, but it's like if things are going to be different, then you might as well make other things different. You know what I mean? Fifteen. I don't know. That's my rant. Uh, audio might be too quiet, that just allows you to voice the characters easier. Huh, that's weird. There's like no balance. I don't understand. Let me raise the audio just a little bit. I'm literally shopping right now, I mean, I can't miss the live. <laughs> yeah, no, this is the in the past, I believe. Before he died. Hey. Hi, I forgot you. Ryan, Ryan, everything okay? <laughs> yes, I'm doing a good job, thank you. <laughs> What's the giggle for? Are you laughing at me? No, no, of course not. It's just nice for someone to come, come, to come to me and randomly ask if I'm okay. It's a nice feeling. Okay, listen, that's been on my mind. You're the ultimate collector, yeah? What do you do for that title? Well, like, what does it mean? Um, oh, I suppose I collect all sorts of figures and stuff. When I start something new, I have to complete the set. That includes limited editions, exclusives, and chase variants. How do you afford all that? Well, I come from a wealthy family, and I'm being the only child. I kind of get everything handed to me. Seems like your seems like your ultimate title has had it as well. What do you mean? You're the ultimate collector because you buy loads of stuff. If you hadn't done that, you wouldn't have your title. Well, yes, but you wouldn't be the ultimate journalist if you didn't get into journalism. I don't understand your point. My journalism is a title, something only I can do. You basically bolt your title. Like the. I wish there was a way to, like, not go back 10 seconds. I think there is a way so that, like, when you click the back button, it doesn't go back 10 seconds. You can make it go back, like, 5 seconds, but I don't know. I don't know how to do it. There is a way, though. Uh, I mean, I guess so. I didn't want the talent, though. I didn't want to go to Hope's Peak. You didn't? Who doesn't want to go to Hope's Peak? Everyone's dream of being the best ever! Be back a couple of years, and yes, I would have loved to go, but now my life is very different. I didn't want to leave that behind. This isn't good. Apparently, they keep on campus in dorms. I didn't want to do that. Well, apparently, we've been we've done a couple of years at school, just had our memories wiped. I refuse to believe that. What? I'll be I'm okay. not believing I did two years at school. I just said I would go, but only one semester. You didn't want to do full time, but you don't even do proper lessons, just hone your talent, which in your case means buying more stuff. I'm happy. More the reason for me not to go. I'm happy at home. I'm getting by. I don't need an ultimate talent or an ultimate school. It's all pointless. I don't believe in material gain. What? Nothing. It's just... It's cool, though, isn't it? Knowing you're better than everyone else. That's also a really good reason for people to bully you. I've spoken to ex-ultimate students online. They get praised by adults but tormented by their peers. What? No! Everyone will look back to me- look up at me at home back at home. They won't think less of me. That's why homeschooling is the best. No other kids bully me. It's perfect. You mean you've never been to a real school? No, I wanted to keep it that way. Just me and my friend. Oh, you have a friend. <laughs> yes, she's homeschooled with me. It's the last. It's, it's the best life you could ask for. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but I loved it. What made it not perfect? Well, the parents made jokes behind their backs, and it was inevitable we would get married. It, oh, oh, that's the girl he was, uh, he was calling and he got obsessed with. It was too much pressure at the time. She ignored it, but I couldn't help getting upset. I see. So overall, you, you prefer to stay homeschooled with her? Yes, and the only reason I'm here was to make her happy. Fair enough, then. We got his underwear with Hatsune Miku. Hatane Mika, that's funny. Hatane Mika. That's funny. Alright, not bad. Uh, I, uh, uh, we need to save JPEG's voice, yeah. Yeah, we do. <laughs> there's, I think there's ten parts to this chapter, so... Getting nervous, but... Seem to be doing so well so far. Let me, let me actually cross out the names of the people who are dead, so that I don't get confused. Orion and Amano. You're too dead. 
Uh, I need, feel like Fancy Leader is more so different um, story and premise as opposed to gameplay elements. I do know Fun Gun that switches up FTE structure by making non protagonistic characters interact with each other. Yeah, yeah, I, I like that. I like it here where it's Rusi. I guess Rusi is kind of a protagonist, but it's pretty interesting. Um, Hope Speak Scenario, where we have different mascots, the Monokuma. There's even a Fan Gun, I won't name, that has a completely different villain structure. I think you're talking, I think I know what you're talking about. The, uh, I forgot what it was called, Void, I think. It's called Void. It's pretty cool. Oops, I did not mean to click that. Try not to look at the free time event thumbnails. No, they're 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 blocked. They're like here it's like it just says five or whatever, so it's not nothing spoiled. Um but yeah, no, I, I uh Attention! This is a fan made I, I don't I don't know, maybe maybe I'm just <laughs> maybe I'm just built different, but like for me it's like whenever these they're like fan projects, I want them to like expand on the work rather than like copy the work, you know what I mean? Like I want them to change the formula in a certain way. That's interesting. Like I know Disventure Camp for example, isn't doing an amazing job at it right now, but I assure you, once we hit like Act 2 or act, and Act 3 of the season, it's going to be like, wow, this does not feel like total drama at all. This feels like a completely different show, um, and I'm really excited for us to get to that point. I think Episode 7, the recent episode, is the one that I'm like, it's very similar to past total drama seasons and past like Disventure Camp seasons, but very soon it'll be like, wow, this is a different show entirely. Like Episode 6, the musical episode... That one was like, oh man, this 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 is this is its own thing, you know. We're we're really pushing the envelope on what we can do. I was in VC in the DH server, and someone brought Down the Rope Elapse. It felt so surreal. I thought JP was on the but yeah, Down the Rope Elapse is like one of the only finished games. There's only like three finished games. One of them is pretty badly translated. The other is like pretty good, but you kind of need the first one. Um, and Down the Rope Elapse is like the third finished one. It's made on Rinpi. It's, it's like visual novel style. You don't. There's no death scenes. It's fine. All right. It's also short, which is good. Whoa, whoa! Steel Samurai music. Oh my god. Hey Ryan, um, glad to hear that okay, good. Voices. Nice. This is the girl that Could I come over was gonna marry a Ryan, I think. I haven't made any new friends good, I get to save my- I, See, I like this, I like this. I get to save my voice. I got you a present for when I see you next. Uh, you free this weekend? I asked your mom. She said she doesn't mind you going out in public just to be safe. And mine is okay with it too. Okay, we've planned something. See you soon. Hello, everyone. Now the movie you've been waiting for, a whole new floor of dorms that you're to explore as a reward for the first murder. What's going on? Just get on with it. Fine, it's open, let's go. Oh god, please. Uh, you okay, Rusi? So let's see it, Bruno, so let's see it, Bruno. Why, why, why not? Because I'm fine, fine as ever, fine as can be, are you? Where's, where's... Maybe I missed something, but why is, why is Rusi the protagonist now? Like, he was the defense attorney in the last one, and now he's, like, now he's, like, really important. It's, 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 it's weird. Like, I like the structure. I like how we're not confined to just Toa, but it feels kind of random, you know? Like, we lose Orion, who is basically, like, the best friend archetype, and, and now, now it's Rusi? It's, it's very interesting. I, I like, it, 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 it's weird because I'm not used to it, but it's, it's interesting. I don't want to say there's a Fangun Rompa which switches into the killing game outside the killing game with a whole new side plot. Interesting. That's my gripes that I don't like looking at unfinished products just because like I want to see the full vision. You know, I don't I don't say that's why All Stars uh Disenture Camp is kinda of pissing me off because a lot of people have these really stupid maybe not stupid, but really like silly assumptions. Um it's not it's not done yet, to be fair, so they don't know what's in store. But it's just like guys, come wait, wait, wait. We just finished the beginning of the story, all right? There's still 14 episodes to go. There's so much that you guys don't know about. It's like, come on. Um, and, like, if it's bad, then it's bad. But, like, you know, I, I'd rather see the full picture to really, really grasp things. Like, like, Wolf Game, for example, like, that one is so messy. It, like, even with the full picture, it is so messy. But with other stuff, it's kind of like, I get it. I get what they're going for. Believe in you all. Zoe, I can come with I would come with you if you like. Oh, God, what was that again? My answer hasn't changed. I'm not your baby. Are we going in with partners again or what? Hey, Toa. You can be my partner, Toa. No. What I think. It's safer to, but I'll leave the choice to you. Hey, girl. Fizzy and me are partners for life. Do you call me Nia, not grumpy bodyguard lifeguard? I'm gonna go on my own. Let's go. No, you're not. Okay. What? How do, how do you know about what I thought? I'm psychic. Just kidding, just get in with Stop this nonsense. Oh my god, it's the bass turning music. What is this? This is the this is the silly people music or whatever. It's called like silly people. Don't follow me! I'm not! Just go 
going the same direction. She was following you. Anyway, anyway, appears this appears to be a stage. Where does Mountain Cam get his budget? Fruit bowl, fruit bowl. Want to see a puppet show? No. This can't be right. I don't quite understand why so Monokuma has given us the amenities only to make us kill each other. You're gonna do something, aren't you? He's, he's gonna kill someone. Like, this is like a stage or whatever, and he's like a theatrical kind of guy. It's gonna be like Phantom of the Opera. So yeah, he's gonna. It, it, it's, it's, it's him. It's him. It's gonna be this guy. He was a Phantom of the Opera person, right? I'm not mistaken that there wasn't someone else that was into Phantom of the Opera. No, that. Oh, crap. No, that might have been the sequel, because I remember I saw the sequel, but whatever. Whatever. He seems theatrical. Seems pointless to me. When would we ever put on a show? We can do magic! I'll saw you in half- You're gonna kill her, aren't you? In chapter 3. Fizzy found the special effects! Yeah! Whoa! Oh, honey. Yeah, from Dual Destinies. Discussion for All-Stars would've would just be killed in the, the entire season. Yeah, yeah, it would've been- Yeah, that's true. It would've been killed. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know, I don't have a solution. Looking forward to the next chapter of Eden's Garden, I forgot how long the prologue was alone. Yeah, Eden's Garden, that one that one came out December 2022. It's been like a year and a half, and I think it's gonna be six. The problem with all these found guns is that they go for six or seven chapters, but they're understandably slow to release. And it, it's understandable. I'm not gonna say it's not, but it's just six chapters divided by, multiplied by like one year minimum, like six, seven years for one, that's, that's way too long for a single project. Like, the whole Danganronpa franchise was, like, did not survive seven years. Like, having a fan gun last seven years is insane. And, I don't know, because, like, you would think that, like, a lot of them would have existed in, like, 2017, 2018, or whatever, you know, like, a long time ago. But a lot of them are, like, very recent. Like, this one is only 2021, which is good, because it, it has a full... This one's finished. This one's actually finished. Uh, at least the first game, I guess, but yeah. Now we have to get up to Lilia to clean this up. Okay, well, this one's voiced. Okay, I guess. Um, he's gonna kill someone. There's not. There's fun to not know what happens next. I mean, each chapter is like several hours, three hours. I'm not gonna visit much. Professionals. This is similar to that meeting room. It's all run down and decaying. Seems like seems like Monica got lazy with the rooms, huh? Hey, hey. All right, tell what. Get out. Excuse you. Yeah, anyway, that's why I find it hard to be like attached to character, not just in. I just have a problem being attached to characters to begin with. Like, I don't like, there's no characters that I'm like, oh my god, I stand them. There's very, there's very few characters like that for me. Uh, but I usually make them my profile pick. <laughs> but, um, like, I don't know. Because, like, a lot of people get super attached to the characters. I'm like, we don't know them. We only know the prologue, the desperate heart. I see people cosplaying as, like, Grace and Wolfgang and all that stuff. I'm like, they're cool in the prologue, but, like, we don't know. Maybe they'll die first. Maybe they're evil. I don't, I don't know. It's like, to wait, like, that long for for like such for a relatively small amount of gameplay is like i don't know if if if, this, if um eden's garden came out and it's like 10 20 hours maybe not 20 20 is too much like 10 hours of gameplay then yeah that's awesome i love that but like i don't know like if it's like a three hour chunk it's like we waited two years for this like i think invincible the show is a good example of that very recent example where like um they took two years to release four episodes and then they took a four month hiatus for another four episodes and that like really killed the hype of that season one had right so it's like i don't know you're, you're expecting that the same people who are into the show in 2022 will be into the same like chapter one in 2024 maybe even 2025 like i feel like it's so long like there's so many unfinished things that's like by the end of the decade they might not even be done yet by the end of the decade by the end of 2030 it's just it's, it's insane it's just a very long amount of time and me with my ocd i need something to be finished you know Aside from the Lindu stuff, other completed found guns are much smaller scope, which makes it easier to come out. Wait, there's Wolfgang cosplay? I'm pretty sure- I saw, like, a Grace cosplay. It was pretty good. And I was like, I don't- I don't know. Like, I, I, for me, I can't- I can't, like, get attached to a character if the story's not done yet. Very, if, if, like, the season they're in is not done yet. Like, at least the season. Like, the series doesn't have to be done, but the season not being done is like, oh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. I don't- I don't- I don't get attached to characters without the full picture. I'm more of a full picture kind of guy. It makes me kind of sad I canceled FFD. It was too much work. 25 hours of story is just too much. Yeah, it's a lot. Like, fanfiction is not too much. It's still a lot, like, of work. But fanfiction is significantly easier. So, like, that stuff is easier to swallow, I guess. Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like for these projects, you need, like, a big team. And they all need to be loyal. There's no problematic people who just disappear. Um, you know, audition cartoons 
I'm going to be careful with what I say here, but Audition Cartoons, they are expanding their animators so much to the point where episodes will eventually be released a lot faster. Like, this was already kind of confirmed, but episodes will be released a lot faster by episode, like, 9 or 10. I think that episodes might even be weekly, maybe. That's how big the Audition Cartoons, and obviously Audition Cartoons, that's, that's like, they're all, like, 30-year-olds, that's their job. Like, it's a job, like, they get paid. But, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I don't know like no one gets paid when they do this other than like maybe youtube revenue so it's like i don't know get, get like a bigger team it's, it's 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 difficult because like the bigger the team the more messy it can be but the bigger the team the faster you can do stuff you know what i mean i see rissy she's fine oh wait oh damn i'm not a walking bomb oh wait you're worried because all the computers in here aren't you yeah yeah don't touch anything oh look at me i'm gonna touch one Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Felicity, what? What? I was planning on it being a video edited thing, but I couldn't fully write chapter one, you know, with lots of motivation. Exactly. Like, that's the, that's the problem with both Danganronpa and Total Drama, in my opinion. Because both of those works are, old, like, kind of dead. Like, Danganronpa died in 2017, Total Drama died in 2015, it only came back to life recently with the reboot. But for the most part, it was dead for eight years, from like 2023 to... 2015 to 2023, it was dead for eight years. So motivation is hard when it's for a project that you know is kind of dead. Like this Venture Camp fanfiction is probably doing well right now because it's going strong right now. We're in the golden age of Desventure Camp, I feel. Um, but like Total Drama and, and, and Danganronpa, those things are, it's easier to get burnt out is what I'm trying to say. Because you're like, oh, you know, I can finish this, but is there gonna be an audience for it? You know, we're already kind of done. Um, it's hard. Like Ace Attorney stuff, fan projects, those are on the rise whenever there's a new game. So whenever there's a new game or whatever, fan projects kind of exist, right? That's why I'm, I'm beginning to realize that a lot of projects kind of died in like 2016, 2017, and they're only recently being rebooted. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> but you know, whatever. I, I, don't, I don't know what the cause is. Like I know what happened in the US at the time with the election. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but it's interesting to me that a lot of like fan projects kind of died from 2016 to 2020, and they're only coming back in the new decade. Like if you think about it, a, something dying in 2016 and coming back in like 2021, that's only five years. That's a very small hiatus in the grand scheme of things. And yet, I feel like a lot of projects have done that. Like Phineas and Ferb, for example, Total Drama, Dangan, well, Dangan is still kind of dead because there's no new game, but you know. <laughs> Zero, the guy that made Zero Escape, for example. Like all these projects, just like Ace Attorney kind of. I don't know, there's something about that like 2016 to 2020 era, those four years that like made people uncreative. It's, it's, it's weird. <laughs> Don't. You wouldn't, do you wouldn't do that. Not in front of your oh, partner. wait, this part's voiced. It's not loaded, obviously. I'm gonna try not to ramble too much, just so that we can... Okay, I won't read the chat until okay, this uh, episode's done. Well, you... Okay, that's, that's what I don't like. Why, why, like, why, why is, like, two lines ago that was voiced and this one's not voiced? It's so annoying. It's like, they they bring the voices for, like, two lines and then they take it away. It's so annoying. Sure you are, baby boy. Anyway, you have an idea what this is? I found it on the desk here, some sort of wristband. Let me touch it! I got it! Ah, I'm so smart. It says opening door. That doesn't make any sense! Oh, sir, I'll leave... whatever I get. I'll leave you to your toy. And, like, okay, my, my criticism. Okay, another criticism I have is some of these lines are long. Some of these, like, vocal lines are actually kind of long, and I get it because the trials aren't fully voiced, so you, you want to get long lines. But, like, the thing with Danganronpa is that those sound. Clips are short. You get hey hey or <laughs> from Nagito, for example. Um, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember specific voice clips, but like yeah, like Chiaki's hey hey. It's quick. Here was like oh I know about that. Yes, that is the answer to the question. It's like that's that's too long. It needs to be something like how you doing? Nice, awesome. Something like short and not like a full sentence. Hey Toa. It's like here. Here this is like this is like the first part of the line. What did they was the second part of the line? <laughs> Hey, Toa, fancy seeing you here. Hey, stop. She's still following you. Listen to me, sis. Kaya, shut up or I'll slice your mouth. Whoa. And I'll feed you to Fizzy. That is quite rude. Elena, that is not very nice. Apologize to your Excuse sister. Me. Oh, crap. Who's this? Who's this? It's Dan. Hey, Miss Koizumi, don't, don't touch. Don't, don't worry about them too Let much. Let me ask you something. What is this, a lounge? What is this, a lounge? How pleasant. It appears to be. It's nice, though. Somewhere to sit uh, sit with everyone. I'll be honest. We didn't have anything like this. We can now sit outside the, our rooms. 
Oh, I get it. You two are like an old married couple. No, Dan likes what? Ashley more, not Lil. What? We were just talking. Stay on topic. Hey, yes, don't don't get any wrong ideas. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. I didn't mean it. I believe in you all. Hey, Toa. Well? Things, things, are, things are happening. Things are happening. Sorry, I had to be right back. Um, I'm here now. Uh, let's see. Gasp. Yeah, JPEG disturbs his family for once. No, they just arrived. They said, oh, we'll be home at, like, midnight. They arrived at, like, 9.45. <laughs> ah, well. Um, let's see. Uh, I need to write a DC fanfic. You should. This is, like, the perfect opportunity, you know, because I feel like once All-Stars ends, it's not going to be, like, an, a drought. It's not, they're not going to die out, but this is, like, the most inspired time. I feel like by the middle of the season, I'm expecting episodes to be, like, 30,000 views in the first, like, day. Like, I know that sounds insane, but, like, I honestly expect it. Uh, I feel like the reason I was canceled- <laughs> Oh, I said, the reason you were canceled. Canceled because the foundation was really shaky, you polished it, shake it, plus Rainco did the stuff I wanted to do. Ah, oh, fair enough. Another tough thing with the foundation phase should be complete you know, writing. I started watching TD in 2012, and I stopped watching 2019, and I haven't watched since Reboot 2 because it's kind of boring, and I just watched DC because there's more to look to it. Yeah, that's true. Um, I mean, you know, we stopped watching in 2019, there wasn't any total drama after 2015. <laughs> I guess Drama Rama, but like I don't really know anyone who unironically watched Drama Rama. Um, like I remember a lot of it's. it's this is I'm, you know at this point I'm me. Let me rewind the video. But um, a lot of people were um, a lot of the friends that I had in 2014 to 16. No, 14 is too far back. I think it was like 16 to 17. Were like, oh my gosh, like I'm gonna actually unironically watch Total Drama Rama, and then they saw it and they're like, never mind, this is for kids. <laughs> And eventually they lost, they fell out of love with the whole drama. I miss them, because they were cool. And now it's like a new community. Now the community is a lot like younger, I feel. Um, it's like a fresh start. But yeah, I, I miss those goobers. I miss the, the 20, 2015 to 2017 gang. Very sad, you know, because they, they did not live to see a single season. Because they, they didn't see the reboot, because, you know, they're, they're inactive now. Yeah, very sad. Uh, and P's angle, P's fine. Oh, J-Poop, bro. Let's talk about it. Second J-Poop, J-Poop, no. Video go off on its own. 
JPEG we're talking about. You told Ramarama came out in 2018. Yeah, that's true. But like, I, don't, I don't, did anyone, like, unless you guys are really young, which I don't, I don't know, I don't think you are. Did anyone, like, actually, ironically watch the show? Like, your kid show. Slice of Life kid show, which is fine if you're a kid, I guess, but, like, I don't know. I feel like if you're a fan of the stuff you watch, you're like, what the heck did they do? Why did they do this? And the reason they did this, and I, I'm going to say this now, the reason they did this was because in 2015, that's when streaming started being really big, right? Netflix and, like, Hulu and all these streaming services. I, don't, I can't even name them because I don't even use them. But because of that, the only people watching cable were, like, kids, little kids. So that's why you get Teen Titans Go, right? That's why you get Total Drama Rama. Um, so... Yeah, blame streaming services. If the streaming services didn't have that boom in 2015, Total Drama probably has like three, four, five more seasons with the Gens 1, 2, and 3. Right? But no. Sadly, streaming services killed the Total Drama star. Streaming services killed the Total Drama star. I watched Total Drama for my little siblings, and because I watched the episodes, it's all over 10... What?! That's insane. I, I don't think I've seen a single episode. No, I remember I turned on the TV randomly, and I see Owen flossing, and I was like, wow, this is... Wow, this is a thing. Um, this shop is, this shop has very bad Wi-Fi connection. It upsets me how Total Drama Rama had more seasons than Total Drama. No, it only had three. Total Drama had like six. Seven, technically. Nine, technically, actually. It's just boring, which sucks, because children's media has the potential to be witty. Like, I'm sorry, but I don't think any kid, unironically, likes fart jokes. Like, maybe like five-year-olds. But I feel like Total Drama was trying to cater towards like, you know, like 10 year olds, 12 year olds. I feel like if you're like 10 or 12, you're like, oh my God, fart jokes, this is so beneath me. You know, I'm, I'm not a kid. I don't talk to kids, but like, I'd assume that's what they go through. Cause I, when I was like 13, I was like, not, I don't want poop fart jokes anymore. Like I'm, I'm over that stuff. That's for babies. <laughs> and I get it. It's a show about four year olds, but I read somewhere that Fresh TV, they were going to make it like total drama, like elementary or total drama middle school. And it's like, that's better. Like I would, like, at least that's like slightly older. Than, than, than babies, right? Total drama middle school is like, okay, like you can have like coming of age stories that's that's more interesting than like just, you know, baby stuff, right? I got into Total Drama recently, 2021. It's interesting. A lot of people I've, I've noticed got into it. I, I'm like in that weird middle era. Like a lot of my friends in the Dismetric Camp fandom, they either got into it really early, like 20, 2007 to 2010, or really late, like 2021. Like, the middle group is just dead. They just died. They just quit a long time ago. It makes me sad, because I'm, I'm in that middle era. Um, but yeah. Like, I remember when All Stars was coming out, and, like, it was, like, weekly. I remember going to the wiki, so excited to just see, like, the interactions and stuff in 2013. That was, that was an insane time to be alive. That was the only time Total Drama was, like, truly, like, one episode a week for me. And that, honestly, that was really good. Like, I like that this Venture Camp is doing this weekly release thing as opposed to the binge model that Netflix has been doing. But yeah. Let me ask you something. Was it just a lounge? How pleasant. It appears to be. It's nice though. Somewhere to sit with everyone. I'll be honest. You don't have anything Yeah, we already read this. Oh, I get it. You two are like an old married couple. Oh my! What? We were just talking. Stay on topic. Yes. Don't get any wrong ideas. I'm not Stupid. I'm not stupid. I didn't mean it. Oh. I didn't say you. I didn't say you were. I'm, I'm just sorry. I believe in you all. You did nothing wrong, sweetie. I'm gonna leave. Oh, it's more. Hey, Tala. It's turning music. Go on the boys one. I'll be. I remember. Okay, okay, okay. This is such a stupid. I remember there was this one girl, and like her whole gimmick was that she would go into the boys' bathroom as a joke and like dance in there to like. To like uh attract people i guess to seduce people like it was so weird this is middle school and like, oh my god like she's she's actually a model now but it was just so weird that this this girl in middle school would just go to the boys bathroom open the door and start dancing to like seduce people like what the, what the heck what are you doing what are you... so weird oh. to enter the boys changing room she never ex expected what she found inside a dead body no of course not ah, ah. wearing quite the pickle Oh, you got the wrong room. There's something going on here. Well... I don't know. Is something is something going on here? Hello, Emer Gaming. <laughs> oh, are you my at birth? <laughs> Wanna check? Not particularly. Oh, Toa, did you get the wrong changing room? 
Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so there's a there's a fitness poster here. Okay, they're they're not gonna do the the Chihiro thing again, right? That's too derivative of the first game. They're not gonna do that. They're like this is probably just a parallel, which is which is nice. I like I like that, but um, I don't know. A little traumatized by Dangrup another. That one that one just really really went hard with the parallels. A little too hard. Please leave me alone. Hello, everyone. Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. Are you a boy? Just a guy. Didn't you just go into the boys' changing room? Oh my! Oh my God, Toa, that's so embarrassing. But you told me to. <laughs> uh, you went on your own accord. You said it wasn't because of me. Be quiet. Ex excuse me. I hate to impose on your mother's meeting, but neither of you will benefit from this pointless argument. This is a problem with with girls like you. Toa, it's been one hour since Orion was executed. If you're gonna kill her, can you, you can wait a day or can you wait a day or two? Whatever. Hey, uh... Wait. Who is it? Oh my... I didn't bring my swim trunks! You think Monokurama allows just to underwear? Oh, no. I don't know. Mine burned up last night when I swam in the hot springs. No! Calm down, you can't go in your underwear. You can't skinny dip either. Uh, Shaw's crying. Explain. You got your own specialty design swimsuits in the lockers in the changing rooms. Huh? Lighten up, everyone. Mm, I'm so All nice. Right, All right, we've got to go right now. Okay. He said he wanted to go in. I don't think he meant now. Wait, okay. What? Now. What? Why was this not voiced? I don't think you meant now. But then this one was voiced. What? My bad. And this one was voiced. What? You're kidding. And then now it's not voiced. Oh my god, I don't understand. I don't understand. Even after two people died, none of you have changed. Like, it's not a big deal, but it's just because I'm voice acting this, it's so annoying that some of the lines are voiced and some of them aren't. And it's not like, oh, we'll, we'll voice like 10 lines in a row for a full scene. It's just no, they just cut off randomly. It's so annoying. What did you say? That's not right. Don't make assumptions. Tell me I'm changed. Yeah, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to lighten the mood. It's pretty burnout mood. And I even Monocam gave us our swimming costumes. Stop right there. Okay, we're done exploring. I'm certain Monocam will provide a new motive soon. What? It's only gonna continue. The killing, I mean. There's not even a pact anymore. <laughs> All we can say now is hope for the best, yeah? Well, let's go. Let's I'm making burgers tonight, though. Know? More especially, Gala's Outback Burger House will be open shortly. I may even treat y'all to some barbecue prawns. Gross. I feel like I'm going to take some time to myself in the lounge and kill someone. Oh, I bet you want to draw that chalkboard, don't you? No, I'm going to sit and read the book like an adult. I'll prove it. Who reads books nowadays? Hey, I'll chat into a game of table tennis. Oh, I'm pretty good. Well, I'll explain. Oh, have you know I was the household champion? Oh, no. oh, really? I don't believe you. <laughs> you made the great mistake, fellow. How do you know you're attacking the first self? There we go. I, I, I did a better... Accent. Times told dramas for kids. I remember as a kid seeing all the time. I generally hated told drama around my siblings were five and eight at the time. Loved it so the put it in the tag and just hated it. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's so weird. There's so many like kids media that are like more mature. I guess. Like, I, feel, like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna sound like an old like back in my day kind of weirdo. But like, I don't know. I, I feel like there's so many shows in my childhood that were like smarter, I guess. Like Phineas and Ferb was very like had a formula, made use of it, had a lot of these trope stuff, Gravity Falls, you know. Um, I've never seen Steven Universe, but I'm pretty sure that was like a good one. Star Wars Force of Evil is another good one. <laughs> I don't know, it's just like, I'm only naming, no, I guess Steven Universe is Cartoon Network, but like, you know, regular show, uh, Adventure Time, Gumball, even the, those like kind of shows are like structured and like they're for kids, but they're still like, they don't dumb down to the kids. You know, I, I don't know why, so many stuff like like minions the minions for example feel like they dumb down the kids like why can't we have more mega minds and less despicable me's you know <laughs> uh more more pixar movies like you know, ratatouille and, and wally and toy story and less like i don't know ruby gilman or, i don't know what else mario movie yeah but mario movie, disgusting i hate that um <laughs> more stuff that doesn't like talk down to kids you know um if it's not funny yeah, it'd be great. Well, okay. Taking characters from an already existing property doesn't count all the time. It's not a hey, fan. Emer, Australian characters alive! Yeah, that's Emer. There's a bird in my house, what the heck? More modern shows, like, yeah, like Owl House, that's a good example. 
Amphibia, Shira. Dispenser Camp. <laughs> um, I don't know. Even even like SpongeBob, which is like before my generation, really before my my. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna call it a gener. It's not a generation because we're all Gen Zs, but I'm gonna call it a generation anyway. Even SpongeBob is like that one is like you know it didn't talk down to the kids like a lot of adult humor, you know, but not like inappropriate humor. But like very very like oh that's a smart joke. I get it. That's a good structure instead of farting and pooping it all the time. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen. Clavier's it's Clavier's song. Minus players take the court. Dasunoku Yasuhiro and Oh, they're going to play table Kavian tennis. Is the ultimate black Is it, uh, is this part going to be voiced or not? Or will the ghost Is this part going to be voiced or not? I hope it's voiced. The score is 0 to 0 as Galo takes the first serve. <laughs> it's not voiced. Is it? You serious about this are you? And this part was voiced. What the freak? And the serve has been served. It's a quick fire rally as our competitors focus on nothing but the ball. So, tell me about yourself. Keep this game interesting. I like Geller's voice. He's cool. About me? Geller's cool. Yeah. How you doing? What's going on in your life? Life. I must say, this is the most fun I've ever had. Bye, Joe. No, how can I miss this? <laughs> you've been bested, it appears. Well, I'll be down. This is the most fun you've ever had. You've noticed we're in a killing game. It is certainly Yes, apparent. I am aware. Don't worry, I don't like talking about my past. But I do trust you, Gala. You see, I've never really had a childhood, so I didn't get to play games or really be a kid, you know. <laughs> That's an okay, I don't realize. Hey, you're here now and nobody's gonna stop you from having fun, you know? Thank you for the game, Galo. Even even here, people like Zoe call me dad. I don't even know if it was serious, but the fact is, you, they think of me as a parental figure. It upsets me because I'm going to kill some of them. <laughs> uh, I mean, nobody's going to stop you from making a kid you always wanted to be. It's true. That, yeah, yeah, that's right, Galo. I can finally be who I dreamed of being. Yeah? <laughs> hey, that's no cool. I believe. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Follow me! You mean I can really be? This will be fun. Yep, come on, let me show you. Now you're using your la la lake? No, that's not my lake. Not my lake impression. This is my lake impression. I am lake. And the eyes, that is correct. You are verse crystal. <laughs> this one's more French. I hope it's French. I hope it's going across French. You need to make shows less babyish because I know he's being like, I watch shows and I hear my three older brothers watching this. Yeah, make them watch like Phineas and Ferb. That's, that's a good one. I'm not gonna have dinner, but I can stomach it. Huh? What's that? Ryan's pen light? What's it doing there? How dare you! Hey, I knew- Hey, I knew I was gonna steal it! Get it back! Stupid. Bitch, I didn't steal anything! Stop it! Give it back now! Fine, whatever! Listen to me! I don't know if they- I don't know if they have wanted you to, but you're- you're We're all writing messages on a memorial, I mean, for Ryan and Plano. The others think you should too! Stupid. That's kind of stupid. Um... Are you going to or not? No, I'm not. Oh, rest in peace, Palano and Orion. I put my name. See, this part's voice. Place your best. Is the next next line gonna be voice? Is he right now? It was. Is he right now? How about the next line? You can write with the puppet. Oh, three lines in a row. No, no. Is he right with the left hand? Oh, that's gonna come into play later, isn't it? You can write with the puppet. Hold up. No, no. Okay, so something something about Fizzy being left-handed is going to be brought up. Just keep, keep note of this, guys. It's going to be brought up. Fizzy writes with the left hand. Oh. Oh, okay, so fi five lines. There we go. As Asachi's voice actor just didn't submit their lines, I guess. Or maybe the that's the end of the scene. I don't know. That's probably the end of the scene. Who's Dasunoku? He's the only one who hasn't written his name apart from Toa. It's a conspiracy. And Malukam took him away, and he was going to become a person he always wanted to be. What? What's that supposed to mean? He's me. <laughs> You miss a Ryan, Zoe. Ugh. Of course, are you stupid? Why would you look at that? Oh, I do you like a Ryan? Like, do you like like a Ryan? I'll knock you out. I don't I don't feel like like people that way. Honest to friendships, anything more makes me feel kinda icky. Hey. Hey, why don't we have a pool day? Everyone's got swimwear, let's have some fun! Dio! Yeah, let's go swimming. I can show you how amazing I am at swimming, Dio. Here's what I think. I say that's a good idea. Take our minds off, we'll be a blast. 
Chills, thrills, chills. Pull day coming in. Where's Dasunoku? <laughs> Dasunoku, who's that? He, he, you'll see. I'm not coming swimming. Joa, Joa, you come here. Come on, at least sit by my side. Fine. I just see you're on my little pocket. Hey, Toa, Best, are you excited for the pool? Shocking revelation. Consider I wasn't going to come. You can count. You can. You can work out. Work out that no, I'm not. Oh wait, I forget you already dropped as a child. Yeah. No, but, but I did push Gaia out a window. What do you say we have a little fun? Oh. Leave me alone. Yay! Come on, let's spy on the boys. Can change? What the heck? I bet people. I bet people think I'm a weirdo. I mean, there's like a 17 year old walking around a shop on their phone. <laughs> Watching Drake make a silly voice while using a silly model, of course you're being judged. I'll force all my siblings into watching this adventure camp no matter what they say. Yeah, I mean, it's fun. Yeah, look at, oh no, did Fi die? Oh my gosh, Fi died again. <sighs> Fi died. Oh wait, no, she didn't. <laughs> Hello? How do you. How do you... There we go. Okay. So let's do that. There we go. Even listening. Let go of me! I'm not looking! That's weird! I am! Whoa! Fan service. <laughs> Isn't this fun, isn't it, Toa? Isn't it? No, it's weird. And I don't know why you're so excited to do it. What? Am I interrupting something? I'm not stupid. No, Irina's being weird! I hate all of you so much! <laughs> She's a funny one. Onward, team! Last one in the yellow this snowball! He'll be the last one to know you. Ah, this makes me want to cook up some burgers easily. Oh, pleasant. I'm... Whoa, I like this one too. Rather pleasant, a nice distraction from the despair we've experienced. Hey. I know. Nobody get in yet. I need to make. I need to get myself ready as your lifeguard. Yeah. Whoa. It was long. Fizzy needs saving. <laughs> no. I like how Fizzy's in a airbag. It's funny. I hope the pool's heated. Just oh, I didn't get to read that. Just like the hot springs back at home. Well, huh? you're wearing huh? armbands. You can't swim. How dare you? I can swim. Of course I can. Obviously, I'm not a baby. I see. I'll teach you. Felicity. Really? Hey there, hot stuff. Oh, hey, hot medic. Where are you going? Can't swim either. No, I can't swim without my glasses. Wow, you two are losers! <laughs> no, I mean, I physically am unable to swim. Here, I'll show you. Whoa! See, I Z, don't... it's Z! Oh my god, it's a total drama okay. reference to Z. No, I'm kidding. Of course. It's, it's, uh, it's cool, oh, I like on. this representation. I don't know, I, it, it's weird! Okay. At least for me... Okay, this is gonna sound a little bad, but hear me out. It's weird... <laughs> to ask for representation in Danganronpa, because... I feel like this is gonna be used as a plot point. I feel like it's gonna be like, oh, um, oh, Asachi was stabbed. It's like, no, he can't be stabbed. He has a, he has a metal leg or whatever. I feel like, I feel like this is gonna be brought up for like a, like it's just weird. Cause like, yes, representation is good. But at the same time, if you're characterizing them as like a murderer, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> don't know how I feel about this. I'm just assuming Asachi's gonna be a murderer, but it'd be like, oh, it was, it, it, it couldn't be Asachi. He was sleeping next to me. I could feel his leg, and it's like, no, he removed his leg. Like something dumb like that. Uh, I do like Felicity. She's cool. JPEG is simping. I love Anya. Just took off her shirt. This is good. No idea. If I had, I would if try I to. Oh, oh this part's voice acted. Accommodate you. I'm so sorry. Can you take it off? Can I hold it? Toa Sumiko. Toa Sumiko, do not make fun of people in need. I was simply curious. Hello, everyone. Hey, everyone. I got you all drinks. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, the robot's being nice. Shocking. Yeah, you're right. It's like a French Celeste only being killed because she's French, and that's bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it seems suspicious. Mm -hmm. Potions. Everyone drinks the drinks Monocam brought. Yeah, I get it. It's not that bad, to be honest. Hey. Ryan. Wait. What the f- what? Okay, that took me a while. I was like, I was like, Ryan? Who's Ryan? And I was like, oh, that's the dead guy. 
Right, it's quite tasty. Let's clink our glasses, Toa. Oh, she's hallucinating. She's going through, she, she's having Toa. the Sarah arc. Your turn to die. She's, she's hallucinating. So um, Toa. Oh, Asachi. Yeah, not, not Orion. Are you okay? Am I going crazy? Why did he think Asachi was Orion? Orion's dead. He's gone. Hmm. Still no sign of Dasunoku then. Yeah, it's not shame. He would have loved this. Also, his trunks on the rack. I just hope he's okay. <laughs> oh, who's laughing? Hey. <laughs> yeah, Monica and Pam can spike the drinks. They're not Mo Okay. At least he's now a vampire and not Celeste. At the very least. Like, at least he's, like, getting his own identity, I guess. That's good, right? Less Celeste, the better. Hey. Ryan is the next Joe. They're not mortal! Da, 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 da. Not I, I, they're playing K- Oh my god, it's K's music from, from Investigations. This is awesome. It's K's, this K's song. I don't like K being associated with Celeste, but I mean, whatever. I mean, I like it. The four dark devils of destruction! What's he on about? Dasunoku, what are you doing? The one you thought was Dasunoku was merely a clever disguise. He really was me, Dasani. Dasani? Like, like the water? Yeah. What? Dasunoku, what are you doing? I like the swimsuit. What are you doing? Dasani! That is my true name. Use it up here in the flames of darkness. I'm now Gundam instead. What if? What if? They are. I don't. I don't know how this would make sense, but they are using. Monocam has the identities of the forty-eight. Forty-eight. Yeah, forty-eight other students in the first three games, and is injecting them one by one. So right now, Dasani is Gundam, right? The first chapters we had Mahiru's mom, Mahiru's mom, or caretaker. I don't know. Um, Rantaro's sisters and Celeste's husband, and now he's Gundam. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's what's going on. Or, hey kid, you always wanted to be. I was, I certainly wasn't expecting this. <laughs> yes, no one expects to no Okay, so, like, there's Gundam, and it says Mecha, which makes me think of Nekomaru, but I don't know. Nobody expects the Tanaka Mecha Samurai and his aide, the Sunny Vortex Traveler. The, the, the Tanaka Mecha, what? Mecha Samurai! Cosmo Genesis Tokyo, okay, that's like Neo Old Tokyo. I fight for justice, honor, and glory. Now they're playing the Steel Samurai Genesis music. Tokyo from the clutches of the noodler. The noodler, what? Gael Dune? Is that Gael Dune? My trusty A Dasani, the vortex traveler and I, as we use the power of Tanaka Mecha Samon to conquer evil. Tanaka, I know, I know Tanaka in Japan, that's like basically Smith, so it's like the Smith, the Smith Mecha destroyer. Uh, I don't know. I must. Now be cool, I have a drink already. You dare speak to me? If I use this human connection, you are attempting to poison me with it. Ah, ah, ah. I call that a cocktail. Try it. This will be fun. I hope you're up. Whoa, he's making you up. Is no one else finding that suspicious? Felicity. Felicity, don't let go. i drown. Oh, my apologies. Oh, my apologies. Keep kicking. That'll help you stay afloat. I'm just teaching him how to swim. I'm trying, but it's not working. Aries, watch me hold my breath for five minutes. Whoa, you're gonna die, Zoe. Don't do that. Zoe, you're gonna die! An underwater volcano! Aries Huara? Just notice his last name is Huara. I don't know what that means. I was gonna say help, like, didn't Ryan die, and then I realized Toa was hallucinating. Oh! Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a... Kraken? It's the Kraken? It's the Kraken! Oh my gosh! That's epic. Okay, that's cool. I like that. I like that. This is weird. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I wish that the Dalarumpa anime was more structured like this. Where you have episodes that are just like funny, like, oh, let's hang by the pool. Let's have a picnic. And then they start killing people. <laughs> I would have loved that the anime was like that. Um, but yeah. But I, I like how, even though... It's weird tonally because they're, they're trapped in a place, right? So obviously it's gonna be, you're gonna be in a 
sad and stuff. But I do, I do, I do like it whenever the characters just get a time, just have, you know, have fun, have a party, go for swimming, you know, uh, play video. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember what else they do. It's fun, but, you know, just it's fun stuff like that. It's cute. I like it. I, okay, this is a really stupid theory. But I wonder if Danganronpa was Loki inspired by Total Drama. Like, I know that's a really stupid theory, but I don't know. You think Danganronpa could have been somewhat inspired? Because, like, when you think about it, like, trapping these teenagers, like, you know, Survivor has always existed. Survivor's existed since 2000. But, like, Total Drama is, like, you get a bunch of kids, you force them on an island, you, like, starve them, and then you have a psychopath host. It's like, like, I know death games are a thing, but I feel like... I'm gonna rope, like, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but Dungeon Rope was like the first, like, one where it's like, it, it's kind of like coming of age with the teenagers, they have like their adolescent moments and all that. You think it was inspired by Total Drama, genuinely? Like, there was a little bit of like, shared, you know, shared ideas going on, I don't know. Like, I know, I know that sounds stupid, I know that sounds really stupid, but... Like, I, I feel like teenage, like, death games for teenagers where you also just, well, while they also like this make bonds and all that stuff is like, and is not affiliated with like it, it, it makes sense now because it's so like we're so conditioned to it now. But like in two thousand like ten ish, total drama was like pretty new. I don't I don't know, man. Like I, I don't I don't know the odds of a Japanese development company seeing a Canadian show, especially since Total Drama. I don't even think Total Drama was that big back. Like it was big for our generation, like the two thousands kids. But I don't know about Japan like businessmen. I'm sure Spike made total drama, and I thought, I can sell this. Yeah, I don't know. Because, like... I'm trying to think of examples. It's like, I don't know, because, like, I, I don't... I know the Phoenix Wright games have inspired, like, a lot of surprising things. Like, when you really look into it, Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright specifically, really inspired a lot of stuff in the genre. Danganronpa, Zero Escape, Umineko, Igarashi, um... I guess the Somnium Files, you know? So it's like... What what inspired the whole death game trend? Because I don't think it was Danganronpa, just because I feel like something was earlier, and that the only thing coming to my mind is Total Drama. <laughs> I don't know. As I predicted, the servant of the Cerberus was dwelling underneath unholy waves of devastation! Uh, as a lifeguard, I suggest you get out of the water. How did no one notice that? Uh, oh, that's not real, is it? Whoa, that's scary. Everyone quick- wow, okay. Priorities? Change back to your normal clothes? It's weird. Oh, gosh! Mode of 2, I've spiked your drinks, that is all! Sparked our drinks, we the wall! This can't be real. I, I knew we should have trusted him so quickly. Don't worry, I'll wrestle this squid! No. Um, no, I'll defeat it for you. Hiya! Hiya! It's gone! Huh? What's going on? This is stupid. Apparently it's the next motive. Where are you? Where am I? What's going on? Stop. You okay? I'm Nia, grumpy lifeguard. Um, I'm so sorry, I don't know who you are. Fizzy. Huh? huh? I don't know. Fizzy, what's going on? My name is Cho. I don't know who Fizzy is. I'm sorry, what? I have a prediction. My prediction is that the drinks are making them remember their past. So I guess Fizzy used to be named Cho, or maybe the one controlling Fizzy is Cho? I don't know. What am I wearing? Why have I got a puppet? Oh, she is Cho. What? He's more concerning than a joint squeen. Oh, told you, <laughs> Fizzy jokes, Fizzy jokes. That wasn't funny. Fizzy okay. sad. Fizzy, wipe your tears for you. That's enough swimming, that didn't end well. Chef message, yeah, yeah. Geller's doing a barbecue. I can't wait for the the, the, the sleeping because when they sleep, there's like the little monocam theater. And last time was My Hero Academia. I really like that reference. That was so good. But yeah, I wonder what it's gonna be. Monocam said he spiked our dreams as a motive, but what could it be? Those things you call burgers contain no elemental power whatsoever. I can demand to, con to consume a vial of your, your finest elegant blood. Uh, uh, uh. Right. All right, team. All right, team. Oh, sorry. Even your finest elegant blood. Let's have a sleepover, what do you say? Yes. Whose room will they sleep over in? You can't lie. It's relatively cool. 
Nice. Polano is still going to sleep where let's honor him by wearing it. That sounds lovely, you three. Boys and girls sleeping in a room together. My oh my, what kind of activities will they get up to? Don't be weird. Yeah, you'll be fine anyway. I know what the blue guy's big secret is. Ha <laughs> ha. He's coarse me. Oh, Lily, I just said you had albums and photos. Mind if I take a look? Of course, Tara. I'd be delighted to show you. So, uh, you actually stayed for dinner. Shut up! I like burgers! The Hanian reunion is not one to miss. Surprise, everyone skip down on the prawns. Hey, we'll have some prawns. You got your voice, traveler? I am Katani! Yeah, this It's Vertex Traveler. It's a wielder of the Dark Zarian Blade. What did that say? I'm sorry, It's a wielder of, of the Dark Heart of the Corsia to you. Hey, Listen, hey, you're gonna look for clues, aren't we? I think I forgot. Toa, I. No. Why Arena keeps on acting like I'm her friend? It's pissing me off. Thank you, kids. It is now right, so time. time what have they done to Fizzy? Oh, it was a joke. Yeah. A a All a joke. Okay. Okay. Good night. Okay, guys, place your bets. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? I'm gonna. Be I bet it's not gonna be Ace Attorney because the whole game has so many Ace Attorney references. That'd be too on the nose. Bet it's gonna be an anime. Is that the chalkboard? That's the that's the Tanaka Mecha Samurai. Oh, you're back! Jeez. I'm not a big graphic novel fan myself, but you're the most po popular superhero, so of course I need to do my research. Mm. You're not real, are you? You're the same as that squid, or was it the Monocam Spike? Oh, the squid was fake! Ah, I just got it, okay. From what I found out, issue 42 titled The Battle of Samurai is the rarest issue with only a thousand copies, selling for about 83,000 yen. All this nonsense at once. Go away, you're not real. Of course, Toa, I'm not real. If I was real, can I do this? Oh, Toa, remember me? Oh, she's hallucinating, that's why, okay. Or no, it's, it's the drugs. It's the drugs, okay. Interesting, that's an interesting motive. I like that. I like that. I like that motive. Do you think any of these computers work? Do you think any of these com oh, it's part of the for certain. Well, we can find out tomorrow. Didn't realize it was nighttime. Where does the time go? Time flies when you're investigating a crime scene. I would know. Is someone die already? Let's see stupid shit. Well, people should know not to form relationships here. Oh my god! Oh my god, Dan and Lil are making out! They should know better than to get close like that. I can't believe my my cam would sit something so outrageous. Yeah, I didn't like those hey, comments. Uh, yeah, let's just have some fun, yes! Until I peek through the crack in the door. Let me sleep over! Oh my god! Aww. Uh, hey, we can take a moment of silence for them, can't we? Uh, sleep over! Yeah, that's a good idea, Ares. You guys, you're so nice. I'm glad I met you. Aww, you flatter us. My biggest problem with Dio and Ares right now is that they just feel so disconnected from the rest of the story. Like, I feel like they're in their own world. Like, everyone else kind of has some synergy, and then they're kind of in their own world. And, like, that's kind of what's going on as well, is that I feel like they're sticking to their niche. Like, Nia and Fizzy, and then, um, you know, uh, Asachi and Lilia. It's like, you know, it's doing the Disventure Camp 2 thing, where they're kind of sticking to their niche, and... Inevitably, some of them will be split up through murder, and then it'll be like, oh my god, you killed my friend, and maybe, maybe, it's, you know, maybe uh, Sachi killed Lilia, you know, it was like a sacrifice or something, I don't know, it's like, it's not that it's predictable, because it's not, and I, I do like forming these kinds of friendships, I like it, but it's just, it feels restrictive, it feels like some of these characters are just waiting for their chapter in the spotlight, you know, like these, for example, if Ares and Dio don't die in chapter 2, Let's say Ares and Dio die in chapter 4, they're just gonna like dick around for like the next two chapters and not really do much. That's what I feel like it's going on. I don't know, maybe I'll be wrong. This but makes me want to kill you myself. That's what I'm about. Yeah, I get it. Um... Then you'll be in bed! Okay. I'm going, will ya? I saw you were sleeping in the lounge anyway, so... I'm just a guy. Sure. I know, I can't wake them up though. What do you think you're doing? I mean, you literally can't. You're mur murder thirsty robot who drugged us earlier. You can move them! I Place love best guys. guys. Gonna... Oh. Alright, we're staying all night or what? So. Uh, what are we gonna do all night? This is fun! We can tell each other secrets! <laughs> uh, what are we, 16 year old girls? I am. Ah, alright. I'm all fired up! At one time, I divided the volcano head first and survived. Oh, you told us that already. Let me at him. Well, as, the mount as mountain rescue, I'm trained to be a ski instructor! Oh, really? On it. Yep, want me to teach you. What did you say? No, I scaled the mountain and skied down in one ski of vol. All off pissed. I don't need lessons. Apologies. Oh damn, maybe you should teach me maybe instead! I think I'm gonna go to bed now, guys. Yeah, me What's too. going on? But it's so early! Well, alright. See you tomorrow then, guys! What's it gonna be? I can't sleep. Aw, uh, come on, Zoe, sleep. Playing my head. No, sleep. 
I want to see that funny anime. No, you miss Orion. Aw, oh, man. Now I'm sad. <laughs> Aw, poor... Aw. Zoe! Are Nights at Freddy's? Huh? Zoe's hallucinating. No! Over here. Zoe, no! Ryan. Uh, duh. A little blaze won't hurt me. <laughs> I'm here. You're all tripping out. Over here, Zoe. Why, why are Ryan's lines voiced, but not Zoe's? It's so random. That's something I wanted to tell you. I'm gonna kill you, Zoe. <laughs> I feel like Orion actually is still alive. I feel like Orion is, like, genuinely alive, and they're not hallucinating. Like, Orion is genuinely there, and they just think that they're hosting it. Oh, Ryan! Because, like, Orion going crazy, just, like, it feels so out of left field. I feel like there's more to that guy. I could have gotten out, Zoe. I could have been happy. But now I'm sad. Sad and... Oh, angry. God, everyone is pretending they can see Orion. Ah! Ah, who's there? Zoe! Zoe, are you okay? <laughs> What's going on? Are you okay? Zoe! Do you have a bad dream or something? Stop it. I'm fine, I'm fine, just, yeah, bad dream. Leave me alone. I'm brave, I'm fine, okay? You got it, man. It's cool, bad dreams will happen. I get them all the time. Obviously, let's just go back to sleep, okay? Aw, oh, man, I wanted to see funny, uh, funny... Funny Monocam Theater. I might not get a Monocam Theater, I'm sad. I'm actually getting sad. Attention! This is a fan-made spin-off and is not affiliated with any official Danganronpa companies or names. This is rated a 15. Viewer discretion is advised. Uh, that will happen next episode, hopefully. I wanna, I wanna see. It's gonna be Psyche K, Psyche K! I'm putting my bets on Psyche K! What's it gonna be? Just watch it be like nothing. How funny would that be? Just nothing. OH MY GOSH! There was there was a there was a Freddy Fazbear head I think in Orion's room so I was like oh this this person likes FNAF and now now yeah that that confirms it That's... God dang it Gregory quick get in my belly Oh my gosh I will find you I'm the best I will find him It's 7 a.m. Time to rise and try and greet another wonderful day. Get up. Oh, we're already in part four. I didn't realize we're in part four. Well, hello there. Good morning, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful night. <laughs> I'm sure you and Asachi did. Hello, hello, hello. Breakfast time. Breakfast time. Eat Stop. up. Hey, don't take my food. Oh, oh, it is I. oh God. Oh, you have the K's music. Why? So let's get K's music. It's so annoying. Sony, the fourth traveler, let me bask in your glory. Hey, a fancy game of table tennis today. <laughs> Alright. I have far better and give us to indulge in your human mind games. Oh, okay. Shining warrior of the rainbow. Busy, the yeah. shining shining fire of the rainbow emblem oh. joined in my quest for vengeance. Busy old Jordan, you oh. more than shrubber. Of course I'll say it, the real the new Dasanaki really annoys me. Uh -huh. Yeah, I agree. What did he say? He makes sense. He just feels separated from the yeah, group now. Fair. Yeah, he's got Fizzy under his wing. What? No, she's really annoying and rude. I never would have seen. I never would have seen be seen with someone like her. But that's not. He needs to come back to reality. Oh, if you're any good at table tennis, I'm okay. Let's get, discuss over a game. What's going on with him? Can't say for certain. For once, I do not know. Well. I do not recall asking you who asked. L plus ratio. Tell uh, might that might bother you? B borrow you from it? No. Come on. Come on, bestie, let's talk. Uh. I'm not your bestie. Yes. You will be. Okay, before we continue, I, 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 I'm being impulsive right now, but I need to show you guys something. All right, this, this is the most important thing we'll be able to do. Are you guys ready? You guys ready? 
Hey Daria, I was told by the Great Earth Mother that a future living legend would be contacting me. I guess that's you. I'm extremely flattered that I'm your inspiration. Here's a quote for love. Wait, oh my gosh. The person I actually Here's cosplay, that's awesome. Wait, this person actually cosplay. Oh my gosh, I have the old! The guy in the old is here! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. What? Is this, is this that's the old person? That's awesome. Oh my god. A quote for luck. Life burns fast, so take it slow and enjoy the high. Peggy and I finished watching this singing episode, and we're really excited for Gabby. Fun fact, the three of us met at an anti-Burger King protest last year. Her waitress girlfriend's cool, but her dad's a real jerk. As for my vibrations on- You get the joke? Okay, firstly, the anti-Burger King protest was because of- Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. People keep on saying that, my, you know, Kai's voice sounds like Chills, the Burger King guy. So I was like, okay, I'll put a little Burger King Easter egg. You guys, and I, like, no one's really gotten it so far. I'm sad. I'm surprised no one's gotten it so far. And also, the, the joke about Gabby's dad is because I also voice Gabby's dad. So I thought it'd be a funny Easter egg. Don Yule? He's a miserable piece of sh Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep it PG this time. But those abs! Oh, mama! Happy belated birthday, Pose Draw Eom, and Koham Yula! So apparently that means greetings and I love you in Polish. I, I didn't actually know- I didn't actually know- <laughs> I didn't know what it meant. <laughs> I got tricked into saying, <laughs> which is kind of funny. <laughs> but yeah, it's me. You know, every, everyone's being positive about Kai. Everyone misses Kai, I'm surprised. I, li I like this, like, I, I know it's like pretty much the same, but it's like his, his render is so clean. It's, they, they, they made a render for him. They made a model for him, I'm so happy. I you know, I just, I just I wanted to show you guys that. <laughs> Welcome to my bedroom! Wait a minute. Why is there a, why is there a ladder on your bed? The hell? That's a step ladder, Toa. Well, I don't care. What do you want? Just want to talk. The door is locked, so you can leave. Just imagine accidentally saying "I love you" in Polish. Tell me what. <laughs> wait, what is it? Tell well, tell me about you. Tell me what you, what you tell me what you truly desire. What you want? This isn't creepy at all. Thank you. Let me show you. Let me pick you apart and open you and pull you out of your inside. Okay, Arena's gonna kill someone. Aww. Metaphorically, of course. I do. I do. I do. I do, do well kill Felicity. What? No, I wouldn't kill anyone. What's your stamp card doing? What do you want from me? This is my stamp card, Knight. Oh gosh. I want you to tell me about your life. Oh gosh. All together. What the fuck? So, tell me. You guys don't think I don't know. What are your views on women? Oh my gosh. Um... I think they're awful. Like, they make my skin crawl and they don't care about the people around them. And why? Well... Does it matter? <laughs> if you value your organ, organs! My mom was always abusive towards me and then one day she left. I feel like a chunk of my life had been taken out. I wonder what I did wrong. And then I realized I did nothing wrong and that's just how- WHAT?! <gasps> okay, sure. Fine. Hi. That's deep. I mean, you're wrong, but that's deep. I'm not stupid. Felicity is a prime example. And so is Okay, it. I can work around that. Um. What's that supposed to mean? What if I told you I, I could bring your mom back? Oh. I don't believe you. She went all the way to Kyoto Hola. or something. Um. Every. Um. Okay. Thank you for your time. You are permitted to leave. Right. Thanks. <laughs> What a morning! I had a good sleep. How are you guys? Bingo! Amazing sleep. Yeah, I guess. Ah, so. good sleep for the most part. Go right ahead. You three, a moment of your time. Explain yourself. Sure, camera lady. What's up? We're all in this together. If you could come with me, please. Oh, someone what's broke Orion's on? poster. Oh, they probably thought Orion was actually alive, and they were like, "No, go away, go away!" And they punched his poster. Asachi? Asachi and I noticed something. We just wanted to make sure everyone was aware of it. I don't understand. It's Mr. Suka's photo. It's been smashed. Please be completely We just wanted to make you aware of it. We're trying to find the culprit. Everyone, shut up! I know what he did was wrong, but he was our friend. Who could do such a thing? I'm sorry. If you see Dasani and Fizzy, can you tell them? No problem! They're the killer. Why, why would we care about honoring them? That's not funny. Joey, I thought you were friends with Orion. Yeah, me too. Huh? You think? Oh my! And it appeared we found our culprit. 
Oh, that's girl time. Tell me, just in time, we're putting on a show. <laughs> You're in, like you're invited. Okay, okay, wait, okay. I just said that they kind of sniffed in their groups, but I do like how Nia is now talking to Geller. It's like that's a switch up, right? Now Dasunoko is with a fizzy. Like they, they switched it up a little bit. I like that. Come on, me and Geller put it together. We have a couple acts, so please join us. You took your hat off? Well, yeah, I guess so, because my hat was used as a murder weapon, <laughs> and I'm the murderer. My, my missing hat is gonna be born later. <laughs> Like, Felicity asked me to say this, but she thinks she knows better than motive really was, so please come. Oh. I already told you, I'm not coming! Are we done? I told you she wouldn't. Well, it was worth the try, yeah? This is a Monocam announcement. Oh, Monocam announcement! Please join Galler and Nia for a show-stopping show. Ooh, show presentation! Presentation! It'll be good and I'm performing, so if you don't show, I'll kill you. Oh, that's not nice. That's not nice, Monocam. Ladies and gentlemen, right. I love Galler's voice. It's, it's, a, it's a very like strange voice, but I love it. I love Galler. Yes, well, today we have an amazing show for you all with no ulterior motives. You guys, I don't want to be mean, but Nia kind of sounds like DC2 Alley. <laughs> I don't want to be mean. Boo! Without further ado, please put your hands together for our first hit. The one, the only, the Lord of Laughs, the Herald of Humor. Monocam! I like Geller, I hope he doesn't hey, die. It's Geller me. dies next, I'm gonna be sad. I'm glad you can make it. It's and like, oh, you outlive your usefulness right? last chapter, you're dead now. It, so sad. You also can't live with it. <laughs> That's not funny. Sheesh, tough crowd. Oh. Ah, here's a good one. Let me tell you. No one guys can sound like DC2 Alley. Ah, ha, 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 Zoe, you gotta be ducks! Yeah, I got it! Everyone, get back! Everyone, alright, get off the stage! Our next act is actually a special announcement from Felicity! Thank you, thank you, Anion. Are you listening? As I stated earlier, I wanted to catch up everyone with a motive. Hold it! I'll help figure it out, just so you know! Correct. Yes, that's correct, Rusi Hill. Very well. Anyway, right? as you all know, Mono Cam stated that he spiked our drinks before. Before a large sea of monsters emerged from the pool. Here's what I think. This time, I believe the spike might be a hallucinogen, meaning what we saw was a hallucination, delusion, so you will. My 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 theory is that is that Orion's still alive. Like Orion, like Orion's not dead. They they weren't hallucinating Orion. He actually was there in front of them. Like, in reality, when they're not, Nergo committed a murder, presumably. <laughs> Hallucinations? Why the owner already figured that out? You you lied to huh? Great, now you're a special VIP guest, please come on stage. Vortex Traveler! Masani the Vortex Traveler, that's us! Get back, mortal! It appears our mortal is recognized that we are superior as among us. Warrior, our shining warrior for Oh. Let us grace the podium of solid dance with our presence. <laughs> Monocam now! <laughs> Like, what am I supposed to do? Are you serious? I figured you did the hallucinations. Yeah, sure, okay. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? You're telling you're telling him to do the motor on us? Oh yes, but just trust me, okay? Oh boy, what's happening? Oh, it's Clavier! Oh my god, it's Clavier Gavin! It's Clavier Gavin! Stop helping! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Mono Shingen. Ah, I sense the presence of an ethereal being, shining warrior. Ethereal, that is ethereal. Oh well. All right, all done. Good chapter. I, I, I like, I like the direction it's going. You got a talent show. People are bonding. They went for a swim. They're playing table tennis. I, I actually like this. This is good slice of life because it's not derivative of the first game of Danganronpa. And I like it when that happens. I like it when people aren't afraid to stray away from the first game of Don Ropa. We're, go we're not going to go on break. We're just going to do a little intermission because, you know, rest of... Oh, we didn't do that. Just to rest the voice a little bit, we're going to be doing connections. But it appear we found our culprit. Whoa. Attention. Oh, this is Tell me, just in time. We're putting on a show. I accidentally played the video. <laughs> you're in and like you're invited. Whoops. I accidentally why do I have the video open in like three different tabs? Okay, whatever. Uh yeah, we're gonna do connections to like 
to like, I don't know, feel cool. So Joker, Joker, Scarecrow, <laughs> those are two Batman villains, okay. Huh, Joke, uh, Trapeze, that's in a circus, Joker, props, tent, those are all things in a circus, there are a lot of like, cir huh. Clown tent props trapeze. These are all things in a circus. What? I'm confused, man. Uh. This is a fan-made oh, spin-off. Oh gosh. And is Why did that play? I hate my headphones. They're so loose. I need help for this one. I don't know what this is. Have you ever wanted to make a story on your own? I have. I, I made my own total drama fanfic. Um, it's not done yet. It's still Final Seven. And I haven't, I haven't even touched it in like four years, four months. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's in the process. It's almost done. Uh, hair ring, hair ring, hair ring. That's a fish, right? Hair ring, red hair ring. Smoker. This is hard. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I only have two lives left. I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Lion. Witch wardrobe. That's Narnia, right? That's Narnia. What else? Lion, witch wardrobe, but like this. The lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. The lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. Joker? No. Hands, props, one. I don't know Narnia. Door? I know there's a door. Wizard? Was there a wizard in that? No? Guys, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I have one life left. Does it automatically reveal it if I die? I don't want to die. I want to solve this. Ring? Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Tent. I don't know. Trapeze? That's in a circus. Scarecrow. 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 Clown? I don't know. I have no idea. Wizard? The Wizard of Oz? The, the Witch of Oz? The Wizard of Oz. The Wicked Witch. Makeup. Makeup. Sinner. Makeup. 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 Sinner. Sin. Scarecrow. Crow. I don't know. This is hard. Lion, clown, trapeze. Lion and scarecrow. Wait, why? Why, why, why is it these four? Oh! Wizard of Oz! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I just said Wizard of Oz, and I, I, I didn't... Oh wait, that was right, okay. Lion? Yeah, okay, never mind. I just said Wizard of Oz, I, I didn't, it didn't click in my head that the Scarecrow and the Lion are both in that stupid. I was thinking Lion Witch Wardrobe, that's what confused me. That, they, they threw Wardrobe as a red herring, that's so evil. That's so evil. I love it, that is so evil. So Wardrobe, Props, Makeup, and... Hair. These are like things in like, like, production crews, I guess. Production crews? Yeah, there we go. Film departments. Okay. Ring, tent, lover. The Wizard of Oz. By the way, fun fact, very fitting. Uh, my pitch for Adventure Camp was that Hunter, Tess, and Allie would all represent the Wizard of Oz characters. So Hunter would represent the Scarecrow, Allie would represent the Lion, and Tess would represent the Tin Man. Oh, fun fact for you guys. <laughs> I've said this fact so many times. That's what it was. And I'm guessing clown, trapeze, tent, and... Oh, I'm so stupid. It ends with ER. That's it. That's literally it. It just ends with ER. Okay. I'm not happy with that one. That, that one, that one just felt... I don't, I don't like that one. I didn't like that one. That one, that one felt, like, so vague. That one felt so vague. I really didn't like that one. How do you do past games again? I'm do past games. Uh, 306. Here we go. Why is it a different format? That's so weird. It's a different format. Okay, I don't want to do that one. That was too hard. Okay, no, that's the one we just did. Okay, tidy, trim, clean, neat. Those are all like orderly words. Okay. Super, hyper, uber, ultra. Okay. Uh, dominoes. No, I was gonna say like like dominoes. The 
Domino Marble. I don't know. Stick and Jack. Try Connexo, basically the same thing, but it gives us Connexo. Ring, like jumping in a ring of fire? Isn't that like Connexo? Mushroom. Snowball. I don't know. Jack in the box. Domino in the box. Marble in the box. Swell in the box. Stick in the box. Marble Jack. Oh yeah, like like the little like pogs they eat. Domino. These are like toys, right? Like I guess stick. Maybe it's blue. Okay, classic kids item. Okay. Okay. Like okay, this one's fair enough. This one. This one's so like. I don't know. It's stick. Items in classic kids like stick. What? What? Stick and hoop. What is that? We're gonna do one round of Connexo and then we'll go back to Diamond Rumpa. Wait, it's in chapter. Wait, why did you go back to chapter one? What the heck? We're in chapter five. Goddamn it! Yeah, I'm I'm disappointed with the the FNAF thing, but I was expecting like another anime. Like to be fair, MHA very mainstream. FNAF very mainstream. So maybe there's not gonna be like stuff you know i was like hoping like oh let's give me a psyche k that'd be awesome but no <laughs> it's a little too not so mainstream I mean, it's not niche but it's not so mainstream either okay magenta fuchsia rose salmon these are shades of pink that was not correct okay um what is a balafon what the heck is a balafon what the heck i need to google this what is a balafon It's a xylophone, what? Triangle? What is a bonito? I don't know what that is. It's a fish, I think. Okay, okay. Bonito, flounder, snapper, salmon. Those are fish. Balafon, triangle, base. Oh, that's smart. They, they try to bait us with base. That's so smart. I love that. And bongo. Those are all instruments. Bubblegum, magenta, fusion, rose. Those are the colors. And then table rack, chalk ball. That is, uh, I don't even know what that is. Pool, okay. Yeah, I like that one. That, that was good. That was, this, this one's better. I like this one. Let's do let's do one or two more. Cause I like eight. It's just A. What is just A? Luca? Like the, the movie? Luca Moana Bolt and Kanto. Those are all like Disney Pixar movies, right? Let's hope you don't get spoiled at Bongo. But he does a fish. Bongo! Boys? A boys. <laughs> a? What is A? A? The A team? The boys team? The wish team? The broom team? The water team? Soap team? Bucket team? Sponge bucket list? Grocery list? Wish list? A, a list? A list! Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> okay. SpongeBob? Sponge bo boys Bob? Bye, bye Bob? Broom Bob? Soap Bob? Stay Bob? Sponge, this is just cleaning things, right? Now what's this? Is it just words that begin with B? What is that? Buy boys bill stay. Words repeated three times on song titles. What? Stay, stay, stay. Boys, boys, boys. Bye, bye, bye. Bills, bills. Okay, I guess, but like, I guess. Okay. Here you go. Bucket buy boys bill. I don't know. Other than like B. Yeah, no. The the, the cleaning one. That, that was that was a good one. Wish is a Disney. Oh oh, wish we Okay, so there are red herrings, which I do like. That's good, but I haven't fall fallen for them yet. Discord, Reddit, Facebook, and Tumblr? Right? Yeah, okay. Social media? Yeah. Junk food? Garbage food? <laughs> Sports food? Black food? Rubble food? Theater food? Cinema, theater, music, literature. These are just arts forms, right? That's not correct. Sports is probably there. Uh, junk? Junk, garbage, waste, litter. Those are just trash, right? Rubble is here as well. Huh. X. Oh, X was used as, as a, a... Okay, they keep on putting red herrings, but I keep on, like, accidentally not falling. That's funny. <laughs> I, I forgot X was the name of Twitter. Don't get addicted, Lamal. Oh, dude. <laughs> garbage. Garbage man. Theater man. Litter man. Waste man. Rubble man. Rubble. Rubble X. X. Who could X be? X marks the spot. X. 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 X gone, give it to you. X rated? Garbage rated? Junk rated? Cinema rated? X waste? X theater? X rubble? 
black. It's black. It's so random. Black board? Black. I don't know. Black mirror? Sports mirror? Garbage mirror? Black. No, it's not true. Litterman powers of making messes. I am a litterman. I already tried that. No, I already tried that, you guys. <laughs> literature, literature, literature class. Theater class, sports class. These are like classes, right? No? Garbage. I need a hint, man. If it's not any of these, then I've tried all the combinations. Okay, so it's not any of those. Another hint. What? 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 What could it be? I I am I am confused. I'm so confused. What I tried I swear I tried that already. What? I tried that. That's not fair. Garbage waste junk litter. No, litter wasn't involved. Litter, litter, litter box. Litter, litter box, Xbox, black box, music box. And then this is just like art forms. Okay, entertainment. Okay. Last one, I promise. I promise this is gonna be the last one, just because that last one made me mad. Ube, vanilla, banana, and uh, ube, ube is a yam. Is eggplant a yam? Is eggplant a yam? What is poblano? I don't know what poblano is. I don't know what poblano is. What's poblano? It's a plant. Ube is a... It's a chili pepper. Eucaly are these like foreign... Like... Things? <laughs> these are like spices? I guess? No? Banana, eggplant, ube, and... Pumpkin. Okay, lavender means purple, right? I don't know. Ube is a yam. Bell. Bell. Bell bottoms. Bell. Bell curve. Bell. Citrus. 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 Vanilla. Vanilla ice. <laughs> Pumpkin spice. Vanilla ice. No, that's not a thing. <laughs> Ube is purple. Soap, deodorant, mouthwash, sunscreen. Ah, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Stuff to keep you clean. Ube is purple. Lavender is purple. Yeah, ube is purple. Eggplants are purple. Bruises are purple. Oh my gosh! Things that are purple. That's funny. I like that. Vanilla, banana, eucalyptus. These are all, like, foreign, I guess? Is vanilla foreign? I don't know. Banana? Do you see banana man? Hopping over on the- I need a hint. Banana and- what? Things that grow in like, foreign countries? No? I don't know, man. I'm just gonna cheat. I don't- I don't get this. Okay, I- I- why? Types of- OH! Ah! Banana is a pepper? Banana is a pepper? What? And this is, this is like, foreign stuff, right? No, this is like Starbucks, maybe? Starbucks eucalyptus? Okay. Fair enough. She's never gonna get that. All right, let's go. Attention, this is a fan- Okay, so it said that there are warnings in the description, drug use, just drug use. Made spin-off and is not affiliated with any official Duncan Rumpa companies or names. This That's is rated at 15. Viewer discretion is advised. Shining warrior of the rainbow emblem! Come to me as you have done the almighty Tanaka Samurai! Ah, ah, ah. You are my accomplice fool! Who are you betraying at the final reckoning? Ah, ah, ah. I don't know, I don't know who you are. Fizzy. This again, Fizzy, snap out of it. It's not funny. I told you, I don't know who Fizzy is. I'm Cho, I think. I was in the prop room, but now I'm wearing this and I can't get the puppet off my hand. What's going on with her? 
I can't handle this! Shining Warrior! Oh. Shining Warrior, return to me at once! I'm always loud, so loud. Okay, so... Oh my god, that's disgusting. What is it? So, like, they have a remix of... They have K's theme, and then they have a remix of K's theme from Ace Attorney. It's really interesting. I, I, I like that, but, like, oh man. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. What is that? Pictures of the Underworld? Orion, Palatno! They're not real, they're hallucinations, right? Correct, we're not in any danger. That's vile, disgusting! He's using those dead guys' likeness for monsters! It's gonna fall, it's gonna fall fizzy, chase them! That's a good idea. Yeah, I know! I must remember what my mentor told me! Desani, <laughs> my true successor, let the power of Tanaka Mecha Samurai flow through you! Fizzy's on drugs, they're all on drugs. And I will be there, fighting by your side. Oh, he's Iron Man! My power's grow! The fabric of space and time are at my disposal! You fiend! I shall strike you down! No, he's not Iron Man. Oh my god. What is going on? Oh, I just realized, I just realized. They're like based- I think this is Orion, I'm guessing? This is like... Palano? Okay, yeah, I get it, I get it. Oh, did he die? Where, where is she going? Ah, the elevator! No. Oh, please don't hurt me. You said this was a joke last time. What are you doing? The joke's over! No. I'm not joking. I don't know who any of you are. And what do you want with me? Putting me in this costume? This nonsense. What are you talking about? We didn't do this to you. You're fizzy, the ultimate puppeteer. You got enrolled at OSB Academy. Now you're in a killing game with other students being forced to kill each other. Don't you know this? No. I'm an ultimate student, a puppeteer. Why don't I remember this? Um. What's the last thing you remember? I was on a prop team and I figured out puppeteering. The next thing I knew, I was here. And your name is Cho? Oh uh, yeah, Cho Hyun so No. Please do not follow me. Give me a moment to be to, to, to myself, I beg. Well, right. Psych, I'm gonna see what you do. The girl's bathroom? We told into the girl's bathroom for never to expect what you witnessed inside. Oh god. Oh god! Whoa. It's like Deadpool, like it. it. Ah! Yes! More Monokuma Cinema! Okay, here's my bet. Because this person, because whoever made this really likes main... Like, no offense, but like they like main stream stuff. My guess, it's either gonna be something like Breaking Bad or like Pokemon. That's my guess. You may not leave your rooms without a genuine reason, okay? Okay. It's gonna be like Breaking Bad or Pokemon. It's gonna be something like mainstream. Maybe like Baldi's Basics. Or like Undertale or something. It's been an hour. Everything's in this because, like, so far it's been Genshin, My Hero Academia, and, and FNAF. So it's got to be something popular. Ah! I'm planning. I'm going to plan a murder. Where are you? Blood. Oh, you're not the only one doing it tonight. What? Bye bye. Someone else is planning a murder tonight? Well, let's check the girls' bathroom first. You don't have to be me. <laughs> it's gonna be something. It's gonna be something like popular. That's my bet. If it's something that's like not super popular, then like I'll I'll eat I'll eat my words. But like. <laughs> Get back, mortal! Oh, what opponent! Now, to be fair, I probably would have done the same thing. Um, I probably would have made, like, if I ever do, like, a, let's say a superhero challenge with my fanfic, it's gonna be, like, Spider-Man, Iron Man, Batman. It's gonna be, like, all the popular ones, you know? Just so that, like, the audience gets it, right? You, you, gotta, you gotta make it popular, right? Huh? Huh? You can't, you can't be putting, like, Blue Beetle or any of these, like, lesser-known things. I do not know this does not we speak of. Desani, however, in the bed for three other years, it's true nature. Farewell, mortal. What do you think you're Tawa. doing? Oh, Pashio, are you planning a murder? <laughs> this bully behavior right here. No, I'm not bullying them. <laughs> just... No, I'm not bullying. I'm just, I'm just saying that um, it's going to be something popular. There's nothing wrong with liking popular stuff. I'm not, I'm not Daniel. <laughs> Daniel, he uh, he only likes the really underground stuff, you know, which is fine. Oh, Joe. I just wanted to find out if Fizzy was still up. I don't want to get him. I was playing a murder in order to get out. He said something was already planning one. Oh, yes. Okay. All uh, right. Uh, yeah, I did that. Uh, uh, oh, that's the wrong voice. Right, now here's the trick. I'm not actually planning a murder. I wanted to see what Dasanoku was up to. After the battle, he told us he would be a guardian scout for us in the twilight hours. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but you want to come with me? We're both spying on people. It just makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. okay, sure. Were you even listening? You see which way Dasanoku went? We you were watching him after Guys. all. Right, I was out before night time and Alspire, just waiting in the meeting room. He left us as he walked in. Looked like he went to the elevator. Then let's go. I confronted Fizzy here earlier. She said the last thing she remembered was putting on the puppet, and she didn't know she was the ultimate. No, it's not just That's weird, even for her standards. 
Remember last time we had a weird moment with the squid. What's your point? That's the right answer. It only happens when we're hallucinating from the spiked drinks. That's right. I mean, I've already figured that out, but I'm glad you're catching up. Maybe this will. Wait, right, let's go through the rooms and see if we can find him. He started the stage. I'll start the lounge. We'll meet in the middle and corner him. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, that's no cue. We'll find out what you're doing up in the middle of the night. I sure didn't expect to see that's no good. Oh gosh, that's no good's dead, isn't he? Oh gosh. Oh gosh! Oh. Oh, he's Jesus. I, no, he's not dead. He's not, he's not dead. Don't walk. Yeah. Oh. What? Quick, this was recent. The killer will be here somewhere. Get the drums. I'll take your boys. You take the girls, and we keep going. Got it. Shit. Whoa, what? Whoa, whoa. Someone in the elevator. We just missed them. Hey, hey. Let me try. Stop this nonsense. Babe, what? babe. Oh, hold on. Press the button over and over, isn't gonna do anything. <laughs> you were straw you were saying? It was fizzy, it's gotta be. If you don't know the answer, I know you're hiding. <laughs> oh, oh, don't wake Fizzy up, it's so late. Wait what, you're asleep and back to normal? Okay. Fizzy's here. Fizzy in the fizzy room is sleeping. Santa Merda. Nobody's here, the killer vanished. Not vanished, they were just quick. We missed them and we can't prove it was fizzy until really it could have been absolutely anyone. Uh, you wanna you want me to wake everyone up? You know since you discovered the body? Yeah, please. Hmm. I think it's a passive aggressive, babe. It's like, come on, babe. Why? There's a boy. Yes, it's Jack yes, it's Jack Sonoku. What? He's off the stage. What's going on? Damn it, man! We have to do this all again, don't we? That's right. We must, for our own sake. There we go. Dasunoku is dead. I mean, I'm sad. I was actually starting to like him now that he was becoming Gundam and not Celeste. But, no. Sad. I mean, to be honest, guys, I. I mean, to be honest, guys, I. I, I, I got spoiled for Dasunoku. I saw him on like the crucifix as a thumbnail, and I was like, oh, okay, so he dies. I don't even know if he's dead because I didn't see any blood, so he might still be alive. Yeah, official. Might still be alive. That's not how it works, babe. <laughs> Can't help being the best. Okay, it's time to uncover the truth in case by finding the clues I possibly can. Oh, right, wrong voice. Would you like me to help, Rosie? Uh, please. No, not another one. I can't take another murder. Sorry. Zoe, are you gonna be okay? Obviously. That's it, I'm leaving. Come on, let's go to the crime scene. Oh, he's Jesus. He got crucified. Whoa! That was big. We had so many more battles to fight! And that's why you should look at the free time event thumbnails. The free time event- wait, the free time event thumbnails, hold up. Was that the thumbnail I got spoiled? Like, here- here it's like- Oh! 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 I- I see, I see. So this is the- this looks inappropriate, but this is the pen light. I don't know what this is. What is this? Is this like a- like a caffeine drink? I don't know what that is. Ah, uh, I- cause I, I thought it was just a random symbol, I didn't realize. Cause like, I saw the picture of him on the cross. That's how I got spoiled. I, I didn't know he would die in chapter two. I wasn't expecting to be chapter two. Uh, it's okay. Wait a chapter. The thumbnails don't spoil. Don't look at it. Uh, Ahoy, end of the holy warriors. Jones. All right, kiddos, let's take a sneak a peek at today's Monocam oh. autopsy. Wait, what's it? Oh, it doesn't help. No injuries. Tell I want to investigate with me. <laughs> Is that a genuine question you're asking me? I hated that I knew you made the Burger King footless joke, but tried to deny in my head that you did. Yeah, I did. I, I, <laughs> I did put a little Burger King reference, you know? Uh, oh, there, there's a comment I read earlier. It's so much harder to make an original project rather than a fan project like Fine Venice. You have to make the roles instead and follow pre Yeah, that's true, because you also have to um, make your own world, right? And like, it's so much easier to use. This is going to sound weird, but it's so much easier to use a world that already exists, right? Where it's like. In my fanfic, a lot of the story is based on what happened in the previous Total Drama seasons. Like, it's a continuation of the past Total Drama seasons. And that's, that's what makes it so much easier, because I don't need to introduce characters for the first time. I just be like, oh, here's Noah. We already know Noah. You know, here's, here's like, uh, like, uh, close to my fanfic, I don't even remember. Scarlet, you already know who Scarlet is. Whereas, like, making your own story is a lot more difficult, because it's like, you know, you have to introduce the characters for the first time, they're not pre-established. And you have to do with the world building as well, so it's really hard. Now this, Danganronpa fan projects kind of have the weird luxury of like, 
people get the death game. You don't need to spend super long on explaining every little detail. The characters will mostly be new, but even here you can have like stuff like Celeste's like husband, you can have like Rantaro's sisters, you can have like these connections so that the audience needs less time to understand. Right? Which is why like I don't like wolf games. Wolf games are just so fast. It's so fast, we don't know the world, we don't know the characters, it's just like come on. Take your time. But yeah, no, making an original project is, is harder, but I think like you need to find the balance where you like slightly tweak stuff. And I think Danganronpa another two. And even the end of Danganronpa Another One have enough like tweaks here and there, little subversions and little uh, expansions on what all we already know to really make it interesting. I feel I feel like the, the first three chapters of Danganronpa Another are really like eh, kind of like whatever. But afterwards, it's like oh okay, they're, they're they're really experimenting with the formula. They're really changing things. It's just really fun. I've never played it. I've seen a let's play of it, but yeah. Whereas here, but the thumbnails were changed from the last time with the show silhouette. Okay. Oh. No, that makes sense. Even the fan project with all original characters, the world and base story remains the same. That's why so many projects are like that have to do with Toll Drama. The, like they very, they very much reuse Toll Drama. They have like the talent show and the cliff jumping challenge and the awake a and you have Chris McLean and then you have like Dodgeball. It's like you don't have to, you know, you can you can put the concept of having Survivor in a summer camp with teenagers. You can keep that. That's fine. But it's like the challenges and like the plots being the same. It's like let's try to do something different. You know, instead of that's what I like about DC2, is that on the surface, you think it's going to be, like, subversive, right? You, you see Hunter Tess and Allie, for example, you think, oh, it's a poly couple. That's never happened before. That's interesting. You have Aiden. Oh, he's transgender. We never had a transgender person before. You have, you know, James on social media. We never had a social media influencer. Before the reboot, of course. We never had a social media influencer. You have, you know, Connor, Connor and Carol, you know, older characters. It's just, like... I feel like this Venture Camp 2 really tries to break the mold, and I think that's really neat. Even this Venture Camp 1 tries to break the mold with Miriam and Fiore, you know, a kid and an old lady, right? That's like unheard of in these kinds of projects. So. That's my idea, is that, is that you just use what already exists, but try to change the formula in a way that doesn't make it a rehash, you know? That's my advice. Like, I know Emer is making a fanfic that, it, maybe not fanfic, fanfic, yeah, a fanfic that's like, it, it takes what you know of DC2 and it twists it on its head and like recontextualizes a lot of the characters. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, I love the chapters. I don't like the first three of the first game, but after that, it's like it's really good. Like I want, I want uh, Daniel to play it, but at the same time, it's like the first three chapters are so like meh, like, so like eh, it's kind of the first game again. Uh, Between your games, from Big Brother. Yeah, yeah, that's that, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I've been slowly watching Big Brother, and I know that they have a reindeer games like spin off. Be good. DC gets another season of which is the show. Uh, well, DC four is confirmed. I'll say that, and I will say that there is a theme. That's all I'm going to say. But yeah, there 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 is there's stuff going on behind the scenes that I'm very excited for. Uh, DC four is confirmed though. I don't need to I don't need to spoil. That. I don't need to hide that. DC two is the best. Love how well written character is voice. Thanks, Mister. Appreciate the flowers. For, I don't, what is this flowers thing? Like, I noticed that like you and Genesis and Marks were saying flowers. What is that? Like, I, I know it's like kudos, like oh congratulations, but like why, why flowers? <laughs> it's a very interesting term that I haven't like heard before until like a week ago. <laughs> if DC was world tour, how would it be? Well, that would that would require a lot of backgrounds if it was world tour. It would require a lot of work from the artists. Uh, fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, so DC, DC2. Here's what we're going to do. After every part, we're going to have a little intermission. This is the intermission for uh, chapter, chapter 5. Or episode 5, rather. I think it's misspelling or followers. Followers? No, it's like flowers. Like, oh, take these flowers. These flowers. Congratulations. No flowers on stage. That's yeah, weird. Cause, like, I, I, that was, like, I feel like that wasn't a term until like, a few weeks ago. It's interesting. I don't, I don't know why it's a term now. I have to think I was ready to leave the community after DC All Stars. And, and, I mean, you, I, I, I'm going to assume that a lot of people are going to leave after All Stars. I'm going to assume that people were only attached to Gen 1 and 2, and they'll be like, you know what, that was fun, we're going to move on now. And I think that's fair. I think that All Stars is a good stopping point. I'm surprised that a lot of the, a lot of the fans from the DC2 era did not come back for All Stars. I was expecting a big reunion from all the people in the DC2 days, but they, they didn't come back. Um, in fact, I've seen a lot of them in like other communities, and they really hate DC now. I'm surprised. I'm like, what? We're doing better now. It's like, why are we hating this now? But yeah, it happens. It happens. 
I finally got all my six friends to watch the Metro Camp in Galpin. Throw flowers and stage. I think I was right, yeah. Uh yeah, also yeah, no, I mean this is this is gonna be I I'm gonna say this now. Episode seven is probably the low point of the of the season. It's the only episode in my head that doesn't have a super big flashy like moment that are gonna be like discussed for for for, for months and months. Like episode seven has good things, but I'm like it's good from the standpoint of DC one. It's a it's a good episode for DC one. It's not a good All Stars episode. If that makes sense, right? Like like, and that's that's not me dissing on episode seven. It's just the quality like explodes after episode seven. It is insanely massive like twists and recontextualizations and so many things that are like wow, wow, you set that up really well. Like I I I didn't think you were gonna do that, but you, you freaking did that. That's awesome. Ow, I broke my chair. Oh, yeah, it's just a lot of stuff. I think this means DC has gotten so popular, so more fans means more haters. That's true. No, no, but these are like the same fans in the DC two days who I don't know. They just, they just don't like it anymore. Just cut the heck, cut the heck. You, you guys were so prevalent in the DC two days, and now the same characters are back but better. Now you don't like it. What? What's going on? Uh, I've never leaved a Spider Camp because I left the files of beta. And so, I mean, people leave for other reasons apart from getting bored. There are lots of BTS drama. There. Yeah, there's yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. There's a lot. It's surprising. It's surprising. Then again, it's based on a show called Total Drama, so you, you have to expect drama, right? Total Drama community has always had this kind of, like, animosity. It's like, why? It's, it's, it's like, we're all, we're all fans? You know, we're all fans? I was waiting for it. Guess the little brat was gone. No justice for Fiore. Eh, season's not over. Season's not over. So, everyone will get their justice. That's what I'll say. Everyone will get their justice. Anyway. <laughs> well, let's get on with it. We must. Let's begin the investigation. I'm here to help. And I, I, I get started on the property. Chrissy, let's take a good look here too. The body's on a cross. That's certainly an interesting position to die in. Uh, it wasn't just under the present body. It may not be where he is actually killed. Very good. Dasunoku on the cross. He got killed like Jesus, I guess. I don't know. It's very strange. There's no blood. What is? Like anywhere. Oh. But he's definitely dead. This part's worse. I don't understand how that's possible. You say to me? No blood. Did he lose it all beforehand? Do you know how he was killed? Well, I took a brief look at the body, but there's barely any indication of an attack. There are no stab wounds or bruises or, well, anything on the entire body. So he was the poisoned? Only that I could find that possibly links to an injury would be these marks on his neck. Ah, so they're making it look like a vampire bit him? Okay, so he got drugged. Okay. He got drugged and it made it look like a vampire bit him. I don't understand. I'm trying to visualize other ways to kill somebody without leaving blood, but it's difficult. Poisoning could have caused him to vomit, and there's no vomit on him either. How dare you? Well, nothing. No clues or cause of death aside from the weird marks on his neck. Which means we don't even know if it was recent. Even his clothes are completely unscathed. Clothes in good condition. Soaked. It's, air, it's airy on his collar. What's well, with the water? Albion. Not sure. It seems like it. Move it. I'll taste it. That's disgusting. Guy squeezes some liquid on her fingers and tastes it. Ew! It's salty. Salty. Yes, it's salty. That's what I said. Dasunoku's collar is wet, and Guy said it was salty. Yeah, I'm That should do for the initial searching. Eh? Where should we go next? Perhaps Dasunoku's room. Let's see if we can find anything there. Yeah, good plan. Right, we don't have a key. How are we supposed to get in? That's wrong. Look, the door's already open. No, that's not Has someone else been in, or did he do that to himself? Here's what I think. I do not know. However, it is worth noting. The door to Dasnoko's bedroom was unlocked, left unlocked and open. Hey, it's All Might! Oh my god! So for the- so for the- wait. Wait. So for the self-proclaimed Voltex travel, it's a very tidy room. He didn't change it much about it. Don't be me. He had built up reasons for his transition. <laughs> wait, what? What? Ah, okay. Stop right there. Don't be me. He had built up reasons for his transition. You would be the same. <laughs> ah, me? That? No, I'm not stupid. Anyhow. What? No. Don't you think I'm You do think I'm stupid, don't you? What's that What's that Sounds paper on that's not his desk? Oh, no. Oh, God, it's a note. That's much as obvious. What does it say? Well, it says, I challenge you to do a duo at the stage. Meet me at 10.30. 
Letter informing Desnoke to meet him at the stage of his room. Okay. I think it was Fizzy, oh right? No, it was you like it was Okay, here's my here's my theory, is that the puppet like the the puppet had like teeth or something, and then like 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 maybe knives or like sharp fangs, and then it like bit Dasunoku's neck like a vampire and Fizzy killed Dasunoku. I don't I don't know how. I don't know how maybe like he had sleeping pills before, which made him super easy to kill. Or like maybe that's why he didn't struggle, because he just he was asleep and then he just instantly died. I don't know. Keep the little demon. Wait, keep wait, keep the little demon child out of the game. God dang it. This document it could be a crucial piece of evidence. Hey you two! Alright, what do you want? My mono pills. Someone took some of my mono pills. Oh, okay. Sleep is close, right? Yeah, the mono pills were the motive. I stuck them in your dreams to make you hallucinate those monsters. Well, now, nah, 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 nah. It's over now, though, because someone was killed. But someone stole my mono pills. Where are they taken? I am scared. You're the spy. You tell me. I don't know. I just want to get them now. But it was down a few. So I'm asking everyone if they know Felicity. who took him. Did you take him, Felicity? I dare you. And I don't know what else to tell you. Ain't going. I'll get to the bottom of this, and whoever took them will be in big trouble. The murderer took it. Okay, so the, mur the murder. Okay. I think it's Fizzy. Why do you write that in the court record? It could prove useful. <laughs> ah, Felicity, I'll ask I can pass you. There you are. Gala, what was the matter? I'm sorry, I just don't know how to feel. First Palano, now Desinoku. I feel like they're both more small. Why? Think about it. If I hadn't done a ghost hunt, then Palano would still be alive. If I hadn't convinced Desinoku to experience the trial of Nimest, he'd still be alive. It's not your fault, Gala. Don't blame yourself. I'm sorry, it's just it's just a lot. Is that what you want to do us? Right, no, no. Toa told me that something happened and I felt like I should inform you. She didn't is that yeah. okay. She didn't want me to tell you, but it seems important. Go on. It's a conspiracy. She said that before not time announced me, she saw Fizzy's face. Fizzy. Right, what but 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 how? She never takes her mask off. Yeah. Well be quiet, but yeah, apparently she followed Fizzy. She followed into the girl's bathroom and saw her face. That's crazy. Well, and I just thought you should know that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Hanian. R Rusi, go to the girls' bathroom. <laughs> Jeez, Fizzy was definitely in here. Rusi, what are you doing? Looking for clues. What? Are you listening? Um, this is the girls' bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, that's where Gala said. You're a boy, Rusi. Uh... Oh, no, no, I didn't realize. I'm so sorry. I wasn't trying to. Oh, sorry. He's a funny boy. Last, I believe the biggest clue is obvious. The saw in the sink. Odd. No blood or anything on it. I wonder. There's a saw found in the girl's bathroom. Saw. Oh no, I didn't see anything. I swear I saw nothing. No, there's a saw in the bathroom, one in the sink. Oh, Roy, of course, I knew that. Here's what I think. I'm gonna check the kitchen cupboard and see you what the saw is from there. That's right. As I suspected, the saw from the cupboard is missing. It's the same one. So what now? I'm gonna examine the saw for evidence. A stray, a stain, anything. Uh, oh, wait, right here. Uh, the saw is gone. If I just stayed here, I keep doing this. I keep letting everyone down. The saw that was in the girl's bathroom was not missing, so we. So, okay, so it had to be a girl, I guess? So, yeah, I mean, fizzy, right? Hey. So, you got anything? The saw is gone. What? It's missing. It's not like there's any. No, it's not there anymore. Someone must have moved it. it Forgive me, I should have analyzed it when I found it. No, it's not a big deal. I'm sure it's nothing. Still, I apologize. No, that's wrong. My papa told me to never accept apologies that weren't warranted. Make sure the other person knows that they didn't do nothing wrong, you know? Sir, so accept your apology. I see. I see. Very well, then. Hey, hey. Let's head back to the crime scene, yeah? Yeah, that's okay. Oh, right, yeah. Finally, you're back. Listen, we found a big lead. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Huge lead. No, huge, huge lead. Go on. We found red hair on the body. Red hair. Is there any red on... Could be like a thread, maybe? Like a thread? Could be you. I mean, you have, you have like red clothes. Who has red hair? No, Lilia has red hair, but I don't think it's Lilia. Oh, oh! Do you think that like Lilia, like... Put some of her hair by accident on the puppet, and then the puppet dropped it by accident? Maybe. I, I think it's fizzy. I'm pretty sure it's fizzy. 
Got it, Pog. Found red hair on the body. I'm pretty sure it's fizzy. Like 99% sure. It's, fizzy. To yourself. it's not money. It's not mm -hmm. me. Oh, or or Toa. Or Toa. Or or Ares, actually. They all kind of have red hair. I know he has orange hair, but it's not close enough. Um Yeah, no, maybe, maybe yeah, someone was hanging out with Fizzy and someone put their hair, and then the hair fell off on the body. I mean that's what happened. The money. I'd say that's pretty conclusive. What did you say to me? Tell so, well, I thought we were working together last night. You killed him. Oh my god, no I didn't, okay? That's all, folks. I got word again and want to kill someone. Wow, so okay. The two -way corridor and get on that elevator. Party hair ring. Red hair. Oh, could be that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's smart. That's smart. If the red hair is the red hair ring, which I'm pretty sure it is. V Meister. That's like Vister. That's so close to Vister. Or Vister. I keep on saying Vister. Is that like Vister? By the way, guys, after this stream, I'm going to release the, uh, the, next, the next podcast, actually. Once this stream is done, I'm going to release the next podcast. It is it is with Fiore's voice actress Aubrey. Uh, she was awesome. She's like she's she was an amazing guest. She was super fun to have around. Uh, before the stream, we just talked about the most random things, and it was just hilarious. She's the first DC one guest we have as well, so that's cool. We uh, so that's Fiore's voice actress. So, so be prepared for that. After the stream, I'm gonna I'm gonna post the video. Um, it's it's actually one of the shortest podcasts we've ever done. It was only like two hours twenty minutes, so it's not too long. That's not funny. Wait, is the investigation done? This is stupid. The investigation over? <laughs> it was cut! It was Colonel Muster in the ballroom with a lead pipe! Yeah, I'm up with that. Yeah, I'll get you solve another case. Um, what the hell is wrong with you? What did, what did you oh, say? Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Rissy, ignore her. Rissy, ignore her. I'm making a valid point? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it's gonna be released after this. So I, 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 whenever I make these videos, I have to get, like monetized on YouTube because so, like YouTube for some reason doesn't like the podcasts YouTube gets mad <laughs> I don't know why even though like we don't say anything too bad oh, but yeah. YouTube gets mad. why are you looking at us Zoe what the heck look the other way it must be cold I feel bad for Nia she must be so cold too bad <laughs> oh that was fast <laughs> killing the one way ticket to despair just up the ante, we want a defense and prosecution again. However, I also want a suspect. Ooh, okay. A defense. Like, okay, here, here's my biggest problem with this right now. Here's my biggest problem. My biggest problem with this is that if you have a suspect, like a defendant, like a attorney, you're really only committed to one, one person to defend. Like, that's fine in Ace Attorney, where you're defending one person, but you're accusing, like, three, two or three or four people even, right? Here, because it's Danganronpa style, you're gonna be accusing only one person, you know what I mean? And like, okay, maybe the defense- maybe the defense attorney will be like defending the one person, but like, I don't know, I feel like it makes it very limited. What I like about Danganronpa, unlike Ace Attorney, is that it could be anyone. Like, you have multiple suspects, you're not- you're not just limited to defending one guy and then just so happen to find enough evidence to accuse someone else, you know what I mean? Like, anyone- it's free- it's a free-for-all. Anyone can be accused, anyone can be- have an alibi, um, so I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like this is an element that I'm like a little iffy on. Um, especially like last trial where it, you, you narrowed it down to four characters. You narrowed it down to Geller, Zoe, Orion, and Toa. Which, which is interesting because those are the four characters that are it's most likely to be anyway. But it just made the other like 12 characters feel kind of in the background, you know. So I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this. That's the idea. So much Fiori okay. improv. Watching it as soon as it comes out. Yeah, it's okay. That made to be the defense. Listen to idea. me. Roy, who's up against me? Are you Damn yeah, good. Let's pick our suspect. Who do we think it was? Galler. Uh, Roy! At the time of the show, you asked Monica to make hallucinations for us. Why would we tell Monica to enforce the motive if we didn't have any bad intentions, huh? Outrageous. So he's right. I'm sorry, science dude. You're messed up. Masashi, you're like running into the prosecution. You got it, man. Heck yes, you know more about the body than we do. But I can't be accusing, I can't be mean to Galler like that. It's not mean, rather, you and Rusi are helping us through this, ensuring we won't die. Help rather, blood or truth? You don't believe in me, okay, I'll do it, for the sake of my friends. Oh, <laughs> that, okay, that was funny. The little, like, was that there last time? That's funny. The, like, toy gavel. Oh my gosh. That is funny. Okay, let's begin. Asachi, welcome to the stand. How does it feel to have new strength? I like Monica's voice. It's pretty nice. 
Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what a sprite is. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Wait, this is, this is, who is this? No, this is just Phoenix. Never mind. This is just Phoenix's, like, sprite, where he's, like, standing up and looking shy. Is it Phoenix? Is it someone else? I might be thinking of someone else. I don't know. It's not. Yeah, I mean, this is also Phoenix, Phoenix but still. He's guilty. See? This is a voice. I like it. Today, we're here to discuss the like they already said, everyone is defense, prosecution, judge, and jury. Yeah, no, so like, I don't know, because like when you only have one suspect to defend, it makes it a lot more limited, you know? I like the free range of Danganronpa, and here it's, it's unique, I'll give it that, is that it hasn't been done before in Danganronpa, so, you know, it has a lot more free will to structure things differently, but I don't know, I, 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 need, I need to see one or two more trials to really be the judge. So, let's begin. Start by determining the time of death. Class testimony. Okay, there we go. Now it's voice. I like this. Why can't a murder be during the day? There'd be a lot more witnesses. Nobody has an alibi, as you were all supposedly in our room. No, not Toa. Nobody left their room, and there are no leads. Toa wasn't in the room. No, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but they were witnesses. What? Who? I mean, this is gonna fall a lot faster. This whole thing's voice. Not Dasanoko alive. Who did it then? Who killed him? Well, uh, that's the thing. Miss Sumiko, please tell us the events of that night. Uh, sure, whatever I guess. <laughs> Single testimony. Well, I was looking for Fizzy because I thought she was suspicious. Yep. Akatio was following Dustin. Is it? I, I, okay, so the investigation was really short. It was only one part. It was only like 10 minutes. So I'm like... I don't know. I'm like pretty sure it's, it's Fizzy, right? I don't know who else it could be. Like, the red hair makes it not Toa or Lilia. Like, it's such a red herring, but like, I don't know. Maybe, oh yeah, Naruhodo, yeah, yeah. When he's like, standing up and his hands behind his back, that's, that's probably what I was thinking. I wonder if this being fully voiced means you can do longer, or if you're gonna have it be the same. What, what does it mean, I can do longer? Like, a longer part? Yeah, like, like if, the, if okay, if this, if this like, is like, quicker to watch, then I'll go to like, the first death of chapter 3, that's what I'll make. This is like this flows there. Then again, we're already at the two-hour mark, so we'll see. Hold it! And then, Mr. Rusi, shouldn't you be your main suspect? I need to see your deal. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Our, our, okay, Emer can vouch for me. Our DC2 podcasts are super whiny, <laughs> but like fair whiny, I guess. <laughs> no, I'd love to. I mean, like if 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 I can like rest. That, um, yeah, I can even watch it slower actually if it's voiced. Well, well, I, no, I found the body. I can even watch it a bit slower so I can enjoy this. Why was, why was the no first person. chapter not voiced, but second one was voiced? Wait, 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 wait. Let's let's see. When was this released? Oh my gosh! What the heck? That's surprising. Cause like I saw the free time event. It said May 2022. In my head, I thought it was like they came up with the free time events afterwards. Cause I know chapter one was like 2021. But no, this, this was, okay, so that's interesting that this was released September 2022. That means the next four chapters came out in the last year and a half. That is really fast. That is insanely fast. I thought this project was, like, a lot, maybe not slower, but, like, yeah, I, I guess a lot slower. So I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. So they came up with chapters two, three, four, five, six, I assume there's six chapters, in the span of, like, a year and a half. Goddamn. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Get those music. Okay, wait, wait. Let's let's try to solve this. Well, well, I, no, I found. Let's try to solve this. Why did Dustin Noku go to the stage in the first place? Why did Dustin Noku go to the stage so late? Uh, coffee. He wanted coffee. Oh, what? What could it be? Hang, wait, Hangman's. Wait, wait, Hangman's. Wait, wait. What is that? What is that? Hold up. Hangman's Gambit 2 XL Deluxe Advance You and Knuckles. <laughs> Super new mini. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. That's funny. Oh, it's words. I thought it was. It's a sentence. I thought it was one word. I don't know what it is. Duel? Oh, duel. Right, duel. He was gonna fight. I'm guessing he was gonna fight Fizzy. Just because Fizzy is like the one person Dasunoko was talking to. So it's gotta be Fizzy, right? Dasunoku was about to participate in a duel. Maybe, like, 
Maybe Galar, but I don't think it's Galar. That'd be weird. Twice again, I don't actually know. And Knuckles. What's your proof that Mr. Yashihiro was going to a duel? Ya ya Yashuhiro? Is it Yashuhiro? Uh, There's meaning letter. I like the background. The background's like the Ace Attorney evidence background. I found a letter in Dasunoku's room telling him to meet at the stage for a duel at the time. We're gonna have a wizard duel! That could have been faked. Oh, yes. What? I said it could have been faked. You know, it's like Sonic? Yeah, I, I know a little bit about Sonic. I know a little bit about Sonic. Okay, here's what we're gonna do after, after... We'll have an intermission. Give me, like, a show that I don't know about, and I'll just, like, guess everyone's, like stories, I guess, because I'm, I'm pretty, like, bad at that, so, like, it'd be funny. Like, I, don't, I don't know anything about Sonic. Oops. Al Capaccio was the first to supposedly find the body, and he's showing us a letter? Doesn't that seem suspicious? Well, I suppose it could have just been a coincidence. That's true, it could have been Al Capaccio. He could have been lying about that. He could have gone into Dasnoku's room and handed the notes. There's no proof that Dasnoku has been heard from. No, that's wrong! Ooh! I know it's not my role to be defending, but I'm prosecuting Galler, so I can defend others. Galler's like, what the heck, man? It wasn't me! It's <laughs> <laughs> funny. Poor Galler. When we all investigated, Dasnoku's bedroom door was open. Only oh! Door, so that proves he must have left it open. He did leave his room that night. That's what I was about to say. Interesting. The music okay, distracted so me a bit, but yeah. got this note and went to the stage for a duel. Akapachio witnessed it. And me. Don't forget I was there. <laughs> yeah. Toa wants her. And Toa. Toa but wants her. Uh, then what? You both followed him. And she wants her. Uh, blank. What's the word? Yeah. What's the word? <laughs> she wants How her How credit. He That's what she wants. So quickly. I would say he was pretty willing to be killed. He let the murder happen. He, he was drugged, yeah, and then he didn't fight back. He, that's why he didn't fight back, because he got drugged. Like, he got killed by, like, Fizzy's, like, teeth or whatever. Where on Dustin the, the neck, right? Yeah. Dustin Oka had two even abrasions on either side of his neck. Right, Asasi? Yes, I, I thought it was odd that they were completely even. Who knows I who can make the strangled? Was that baby spell? Is that you can't best say spell? that for certain. <laughs> that's a wizard. That's what that's what a wizard duel is. Who can make the best spell? <laughs> you can't say he was strangled. There are plenty of other ways to kill someone. She may have a point. I don't think she's safe for certain. Does that cross you have something to do with it? We can't just ignore the fact that there may be other injuries on his body. I don't think that it was. No, that's wrong. Yeah, like we saw the note. I see yeah. autopsy report. There were no stab wounds or anything on the body. As well as this, his clothes were completely unscathed. That's like, I said this before in a previous stream, but that, that's what like... That's what's interesting about like doctor characters in these things, is that they can like fake the death. Like, I, I don't think that's ever been done before, where it's like, oh, the doctor was like faking the, the time of death. Or the autopsy report and it's like here it's like because there's no doctor character it's kind of like just maybe they're missing information i don't know that's what that's what i find interesting now i don't think the killer would have unclothed dasanoka before killing him. <laughs> you never know that's what i was thinking too yeah well i said it first so i deserve the credit <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't mean to disregard your achievement. I'm sorry. <laughs> so Yasuhiro was strangled. I posted over the entire Yans Guard prologue last night. Why Maybe I'll test out on their names. No I, already, I already did that. That was bad. I couldn't name them. But he would have struggled. Nobody would allow themselves to be strangled. Take into consideration his methods. He was delusional. Clearly he would have believed if someone would have given him a reason to die. He Busy would not be killed if given a reason. You think Australian me would ever fake an autopsy? You never know, maybe. He would let someone kill him. Sachi's kind of mad. Oh, yeah, I guess he is. Yeah, I didn't think that. And I bet the killer knew that too. Now you really can use a thing. How did the killer convince Dasanoku to let them kill him? That seems impossible. 
Yeah, no, the sleeping pills, right? The, the, the pills. As an idea. One person who lost something important. What? Well, love it. Wait, what? Wait, what's going on? What? Monica, you know why he allowed the murder, don't you? That was a plot twist and a half right there. I wasn't expecting that. Oh yeah, the pills. Okay, okay, okay. I want to cross-examine the robot. Okay, th th uh, this is interesting. Okay. JPEG, if you were Australian. <laughs> Sachi's not big. That's what I would do. That like, if I was like a doctor character, and I even even if I didn't do the murder, I would just like fake the autopsy report, just like. <laughs> Just like maybe someone's like lying, like yes, according to the doctor, he was stabbed four times. I can't be lying, but it's like I oh, know he was actually stabbed five times. You're the one who's lying. <laughs> You're the one who who knew it was wrong. I don't, I don't even know how to explain. That'd be a really bad murder. I'd be I'd, I'd be really bad. <laughs> Judge, plus I was busy that night. Busy doing what? I'll send you the tier list of the Danganronpa Desperate Hearts. Oh, okay. JPEG would be like Dr. Nagito. <laughs> you guys like hope? I love despair! Oh, Hajime. Hello, Hajime! I don't know. I, I want to hear your testimony. I know, regardless of the characters you said, you suck at me. Hmm. No! Testify, you wimp. Testify, Candace, testify. I'll show you. Let me wow, Dio, Dio did that reverse psychology. That's awesome. Good job, Dio. Well done. Well done. Since you think I'm stupid, I'll tell you my thoughts on the matter. Last night, I lost something very important to me. My mono pills. Someone stole my mono pills. Welcome to Australia. Forgetting you're the voice of Kai. <laughs> Nagito would never say I love. Oh right, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. This. That's the whole antithesis of Nagito. I forgot. They'll believe It's completely forgot. So if someone were to take multiple at once, it'd be like they were brainwashed. They'll believe anything. Oh, and okay. Kazunoku's delusions, it's only heightened. It's kind of like Ibuki, where Ibuki was like, she had the despair disease, right? And thus, the killer has a way to make Dasunoku easy credit. Yeah, it was like, Dasunoku, kill yourself, and then he did. Certainly one way of doing it. But then there'd be no evidence. Oh, okay. Okay, if Dasunoku just killed himself, and the evidence is, and the smoking gun is the hair, that's a little annoying. Um, but I don't know. Let's see. Like, the, the thing that's sussing me out is the two things on his neck. Like, what, what could that be? That could be, like, s like fangs of, like, a vampire. Those could be, like, laser eyes. That could be, like... I don't even know what that could be, honestly. What, what, could, that, what, what could even leave that unique mark? Know how to get the pills, though. Killing Monokyan had hidden them. That's not good if he was a liar. <laughs> if he had liars to do. In the medicine cabinet, any of you could have taken them. Right. Not very smart of you. Hey, I am smart. I am smart. This is great. We presumably established how Mr. Yashihiro was murdered, but we've gotten nowhere in regards to the killer's identity. My top suspects are Mr. Rusi and Mr. Hanwin. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what I would be. I would be like, you, you like, <laughs> I love despair. And then someone else like, yeah, me too. I'm like, I'm kidding. I don't like like despair. You're the weirdo. <laughs> I had pulled the no you card. <laughs> oh, I'm in bag. Poor Gallard, man. Galler's been put that through that the ringer. I love you, Galler. He reminds me of Emer, that's why I like him. <laughs> I was with Akipachio the whole time. <laughs> we split at the second floor. Would that not give him an opportunity to kill Dawson Oka? He went to the stage, right? Yes, but it was only like two minutes until he called for me to come. Not enough time to kill someone, even if they were willing. Okay, here, okay here's what I'm going to say. Really quick. I do think that... The prosecution and defense thing, they're setting it up so like there's gonna be like one of the chapters will be one of the prosecution slash defense lawyers, I guess, will be the killer. That's what they're setting up. Is that it's gonna be like a big twist big, oh, you're the one accusing everyone, but it's actually you, you're the killer, you're you 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 you're, you're deflecting and all that stuff. And I think that twist will work really well when it does happen. But the problem is is that they they're already accusing the people on the bench. You know, last last trial, Toa was accused a lot. This trial, Akapashio is getting accused a lot, so it's kind of like, I don't know, I feel like it's going to negate the eventual twist when someone on the bench actually is the murderer, because it's like, 
the way they're saying it up, it's like, oh my god, it's a twist. Like like when Manfred von Karma is the actual killer, it's like, oh my god, Manfred von Karma, wait, well, he's the one who did it, and he's like the prosecutor. What the heck? But like, I feel like the impact is lessened because twice now is someone on the bench being accused, rather than like the the, the jury members all accusing one another. Right? Does that make sense? I don't know. So you're saying there was somebody else up there with me? No, that's wrong. I'm really sorry to spin this back on you after you've just offended me, Toa. What are you saying? Toa? There's one piece of evidence that may allude to who was the fourth person on It's gonna be the hair, it's the hair, it's the hair! Why say you're gonna spin this back on me? You saying I was the killer? It's the hair! I was with you, you backstabbing bitch! <laughs> Toa. I'm sorry. Just hear me out. It's the hair. There was a red hair on the body. So like, I don't know, like, it, it feels like a chapter, like, four, chapter five twist, where it's like, oh my god, you know, L Liliana was the, was the, was the prosecutor, and it was her all along, and like, that would hit really hard, but they're already accusing people on the bench anyway, so, maybe, maybe we'll have, maybe that, maybe it's an anti-twist where we think eventually someone on the bench will be the big killer, but it's never anyone on the bench, like, everyone on the bench is automatically immune, that'd be, that'd be a fun anti-twist, honestly. Like, okay, 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 what, okay, what, okay, your guys' question. In DC, what would you define as an anti-twist? I would consider the fact that the whole season we're teased of Hunter, Ali, Hunter choosing Ali or Tess the whole season, and then it ends up being not, not Polly, but nothing. Like, oh, we're just friends. Like, I, I consider that an anti-twist where the whole season kind of builds up, like, this whole question, and it's just like, yeah, fuck it, let's just be friends. <laughs> and I know, like, that's not a bad twist, on paper, but because I know the behind the scenes lore, it's like oh, <laughs> they could have been they could have been handled a lot better. <laughs> What's another like anti twist? Um, I don't know. What what are good anti twists in your opinion, you guys? I'll say another one. Like so far, so far, Miriam in DC All Stars was like, I'm old, my hip is broken, and I am like an old lady. I'm really bad, and my health is bad. And you think like that's gonna affect her, but it actually doesn't affect her at all. Like the fact that she's like old doesn't like come into play. Like she doesn't like break her back <laughs> in a challenge or anything like that <laughs> to like medevac. Because like so many people are like, oh, it's gonna medevac her. They're like, oh my god, it's so weird that they set up that she was gonna get medevac, and then it didn't happen. And like one, she'd come back, but two, it's like that's so it's so so boring. You know, <laughs> she just like breaks her back. I don't know. I don't think that's an anti-twist. That is a twist. An anti-twist is like the one in the feeler. Maybe not. A, maybe not an anti-twist. Maybe like an untwist. Yeah, untwist maybe is a better term. Where okay, okay, no, I I know what you're talking about. The VLR twist. That, that, that was more of an untwist, yeah. Unt untwist, anti-twist. I don't know. Unreveal. I was hoping she didn't break her back. I don't know why so many people are like, oh, she didn't break her back. It's not good. If she broke her back, that'd be so boring. <laughs> if she just... Like, she got meta back for being old. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, what we got with Miriam, where she like, you know, she's like fighting to stay alive. That was so much more entertaining. Than she, she like broke her back. Uh, I don't know. It's about one of the characters where you think, yeah, yeah, no, no I, I know which one you're talking about. Um, yeah, that, yeah, that, that's a pretty good untwist. Untwi I was so sick of the Miriam medevac thing. Like, you think we're really gonna, like, medevac someone in All-Stars? I don't know, maybe it'll happen, maybe not. But, like, <laughs> but, like, come on. <laughs> we're not gonna do that to Miriam. <laughs> Miriam's too awesome to die, she's immortal. That's what we wanted. Spoiler alert. That's what we wanted for the prologue of All-Stars. Was it the prologue? starts and the first shot is just a grave and you see jake looking sad <laughs> but then it pans out and it's it's just it's 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 miriam's next to jake so it's like oh okay miriam's not dead but then it's miriam mourning over her dead like family <laughs> so it's like oh so it's like you go through so much tonal whiplash you're like no miriam's dead oh miriam's not dead oh miriam's mourning her dead family <laughs> you go through so many emotions yeah what i'm what, you fan what, what i'm trying to say is that like Someone being a competitor, a very big competitor, only to 
be eliminated because they broke their bones in a cartoon series where people like get injured all the time it's kind of boring right they would never they would never do that right like dc2 right they would never just medevac someone abruptly right right dc2 <laughs> two vealer who's the second one i don't actually know the second one i actually don't know the second one who's the second one I have, I have an idea, I have, like, I have a theory, but I don't know what the second one is. I know the first one, that's for sure. Who's the second one? Oh, okay, okay, I think I know the second one. Okay. I think I know the second one. The one, the one that gets your YouTube channel demonetized. That's who you're talking about. Um, <laughs> DC fans were always crazy to see Mirror die. I would laugh. Yeah, that would be sick. Yeah, it would have been funny. It would have been, that would have been too much tonal whiplash for the first, like, 10 seconds of All-Stars, though. <laughs> I've been too much. <laughs> uh, I'm sad they didn't happen because <laughs> they just, they just they start with the grave. <laughs> you should have made it show a grave, pan over to San Jake, and then have him zoom out to the grave to show to you if you like to watch yourself. And I I know that I okay that, I know the first one you're talking about. I don't know the second one. I think the second one is the the one who wears a toilet seat. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you were gonna bring that up. Why is that light not voice? Wait, wait, rewind, rewind. This could have been from two people, Toa and Liliana, right? Because she, she has red hair, right? Lila and Toa. You both have red hair. It's not Liliana, it's Lilia, Lila. I, this whole time I was saying Liliana, it's Lila. Okay, fair enough. Just you wait, young man. Whoa. Whoa. How can you see that? How can you be so accusing? For once, I agree with the redheaded bitch. Oh, what? That red hair could have been from anything. Yeah, one one of these two redheads probably brushed with Fizzy. The hair got on Fizzy, and then the, 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 the hair on Fizzy went on the, the corpse. You cannot simply say one of us was murdered. It's like it, this is a pretty boring smoking gun. If 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 this was it, oh, your red hair was on it. You're the culprit. That's such a boring smoking gun that immediately narrows it down to two people. So I don't think it's that. Also, maybe 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 Fizzy, the person behind Fizzy, has red hair. Maybe I don't know. The only way you can accuse me is if your brain was missing. So it was Lilia. L uh, no, yeah, Lily, Lilia. Lilia. Oh, wow. I thought we were together on this! I like Lily. Lily's cool. Whoa! Whoa! I like Lily. She's cool. But Lila, you could have been there. Wait, is it Lily or Lila? If not Toa, you're the only one with red hair. I'll talk about it in a second, Amber. It can only be you. But I... I didn't! I... They, they, they say they say Lilia and then they say Lila. I don't know which one it is. Like, Liliana is wrong. I, I, I was wrong. It's not Liliana. But like, they say Lilia and then they say Lila. Wasn't there? I promise. It's Lilia. It's Koizumi. He's lying, right? There's another explanation, right? What song is this? This is a good song. I don't this know what this is. Lines are there. <laughs> no, it's not. I, I didn't do it. Let me grab some popcorn. This is hilarious. Yeah, no, Lilia. Sorry, you're too coded to be a victim. You can't be the culprit. You're too, you're too victim coded. She's gonna, she's gonna. I, I don't want to do it kill, anymore. Not do I don't want to be the prosecution anymore. Did it's not her. Don't worry. Position? It's not her. Don't worry. I'm done. I don't want to accuse anyone. Uh, fine, you're such a baby. You can leave on one condition. Yes, I'll do it. Give us a good reason why Galler kills Dazunoku and not Lilia. Galler as the defendant is so weird because, like, I don't think it's him. I, I hope it's not him. I, I really hope it's not Galler, but, like, he just kind of seems there. Like, he, he didn't really do anything. That's the problem with these investigation segments. Like, I like how they're short. I, 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 I appreciate the investigation segments being short, but because of that, I feel like not a lot of characters can be accused. You know what I mean? There's not a lot of, like... Of course. Gellert obviously has suspicion. Characters. Lily has innocence. Oh, puns for zombies. That's probably what it is. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, robots and all VIP guests on his busy. Thank me. Yes, well, today we have an amazing show for you all with no ulterior motives. Clearly, Galler and Neil were plotting something with their show, naming Dantsunoku as their PIP. Hey, let's. You're a traveler. Shining warrior of the rainbow emblem! They called out for Dantsunoku to come onto the stage for no real reason. 
What? No, he was a performer. What? what do you mean no reason? Are you serious? Gotcha. Galder then instructed Monica to trigger the monopoles. Why would he do that? And that's why I believe Galler and Nia had an ulterior motive, and Lilia is innocent. I don't think I don't think it's Lilia, but Galler I don't think Nia. it's Galler or Nia. I want their testimonies now. Like someone got an adrenaline rush. I'll testify in order to clear our names. Yeah, same. Hold it. Sorry, sudden idea. Take a look again at this red egg. Isn't there still something we're missing? What? What are you getting at? If we don't know everyone's hair. It's from the wrong angle. Oh, it's a red thread. A thread. What if it's a thread? Ah. We need to question oh. Red clothes. This is also red This is also red herring. concerned about. Mia. This is also red herring. She's wearing a swimsuit. No, she's wearing a jacket. Never mind. <laughs> oh, oh, go on then. Double testimony. They should do this more in Ace Attorney. I know they do it in the Great Ace Attorney, but they need to do this more. I love the double testimonies. We just early 2000s were the best. Maybe they'd stop all the nonsense and get our friends back. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Sachi. Oh, we be Nia's friend. Cause he never leave me aside. While the motive was happening, it felt like he did. Boy, man, just lost Polano. Aww. Get someone like Dawson Elk to lean on. Aww, poor Galler, man. Emer, stop losing your friends, man. So anyway, Lilia, that's up. Wait, the one clue that okay. concerns me the most is yet to be brought up. It involves a certain group. Okay. I like this drawing, it's a good drawing. Reminds me of Chucky's drawing of the party in chapter one of a DR2. The of the but we already established the method doesn't work. Oh! Oh, the saw! I didn't even think of the saw. Yeah, okay, the saw could have yeah, the saw was probably what, what stabbed uh Dasunoku in the neck, right? That's probably what it was. The saw was probably like, Zoop! and then Dasunoku died. <laughs> That could be anyone, though. Like, there's there's really not a lot of evidence. Like, someone took the pills, they did the they did the saw thing, and then they left a red thread. But like, that could be anyone. Like last time, the the yellow pen light that was really good. So there has to be like a hidden detail that we're like we're all missing. Relevant. Saw? How can that be irrelevant? Split decision? Oh, fight, fight, fight! They're gonna fight! I am! Professor Layton and Phoenix Wright versus Phoenix Wright does this too. Yeah, apparently they do. There's like a whole segment with 10 suspects, right? The saw is involved. Yeah, no, the, the saw. The saw. That's the only weapon it could be. Right? How can you ignore an obvious weapon? Because I thought we already established a method. It's definitely suspicious, but all the questions are answered already. Wait, what? What if they? What if they got the saw? They put it in Fizzy's mouth, and then Fizzy like chomped Dasunoku <laughs> to be like a vampire or something. Perhaps it was the original weapon of choice. I think seven suspects. So why leave it in a bathroom of all places? It could have been used to cut the wood to make the cross. We would have seen it being built. It was probably a stage prop. There was no blood anywhere on the body or the stage. The saw was disposed of in the bathroom. That's suspicious. Galler is bigger than I. I said this last time as well, but he's bigger than I thought. <laughs> like his sprite makes him look really skinny, but he's like more like stocky than you'd expect. The saw is not back in the cupboard, and it disappeared from the bathroom so close to the door. Is it possible the saw is somewhere else? What if the saw is Fizzy's mouth? The saw's in this very yeah, it's in Fizzy's mouth. That'd be that'd be really insane if that was. The, I don't think it is. Um, I like the I like the um, minimalism. You know, it's very like not a lot of information, not a lot of clues, not a lot of inf you know, not a lot of stuff going on, but but it's still like solvable. Like the Orion thing was pretty good. Drug yourself. Oh god. Okay, it said self harm, so I think I think. Uh, 
I think we're going to I think the culprit's going to be revealed in this in this part. I think I think we're going to see our culprit. Place your bets everyone. My bet is on Fizzy. This is a fan-made spin-off and is not affiliated with I also feel fans. like the gender, you know, we've already lost like three male characters, so I think it has to be I don't know. That's my theory right now. Like Bill Duncan run the companies or more names. This is rated a 15. Viewer discretion yeah. is advised. Let's do this. Let's do this, guys. What? Where? Someone here still has the song. It's Fizzy's mouth. Lilia, look up your dress. No, what? 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 No, no Miss Mommy, that's not necessary. Are you sure, Sashi? Stop at once! I cannot hide a song. I like Lily. Lily has a fun voice actor. Mia, pick up your Whoa! So what now? You gonna do a pat down? Rain is a pervert. Oh no, we need to find out the killer somewhere. JPEG is wrong, but I permission to laugh. So JPEG's right. Help us identify the killer. Yeah, well, they're out to me now. What about it? Oh, 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 oh my god! I for I remembered. I remembered Fizzy mentioned being left handed. That's gonna come into play somehow. Oh, was the was the was the knife was the wounds on the right side of the body? Huh? Yeah, I think it was. I think that the wounds were on like the right side of the body, and, and, and Fizzy very explicitly said something about being left-handed. Ooh, I think <laughs> I'm wrong. Everyone's in a while. I'd be surprised if I can't match up to meet now because someone's handwriting. Then we have an author. That's stupid. Someone could easily cheat by making their handwriting not match on purpose. Fizzy write anything? Oh yes. But well, we already have a copy of everyone's handwriting. Yeah, we do. We only need to compare all systems. Okay, this okay, that's that's a little cheap. That's a little cheap. If <laughs> like okay, no, the, the handwriting thing, I think logically, that's one of the first things you do, especially if you already have examples of everyone else's handwriting. I feel like it's the first Okay. PSA, if you guys are ever in a murder mystery scenario, look at everyone's handwriting in case they're like notes going around. Ends up there in the meeting now. And then, BOUM! Where are these existing copies? Well, we have to leave the drawing room to find Oh, maybe, maybe Monokem won't let them. Where are they? Oh, they got burnt? Did they get burnt? Alright, the memorial we made for Orion and Palino. Ah! We all signed it. Precisely. If we're to find out this killer, we need to go there and clear the hand, Martin. Thank God the last few parts were... Can't we? Voice I don't see why not. Let's go. All right, guys, big reveal. Big reveal, guys. Big reveal. Right. Let's compare on each letter to each set of hands. They explicitly said Fizzy was left-handed as well. So. This will take a while. We gotta do it to find the truth. We'll do JPEG next time we have mercy. Here we go, guys. Miss you, little dude. <laughs> yeah. It's been worse. Oh, this, this is nice. I, they all have like custom handwriting. This is nice. All right, Fizzy, come on. Come on, Fizzy. Come on. Oh, oh that's close. That's pretty close, actually. What she said. <laughs> oh. What? 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 <laughs> Sorry. Someone was using their non-dominant hand. Well, it was worth the trip. Someone was using their non-dominant hand. Wait, perhaps there's something on the note we can use to identify the author. Yeah, of course. Like what? Was it the eyes? Maybe the eyes were like Let's dotted? The, note. the eyes were dotted, maybe? First of all, take a look. What stands out about this note? The pen sucks. Oh, the hand <gasps> yes, but there's one thing about the writing which tells us exactly who wrote it. The pen sucks. But I don't understand. What is it? How can we tell exactly who wrote it? They had a bad pen! Can you spot it, Lucy? They were in a rush? It's leaning towards the left? So maybe they're left-handed? Oh, could it be a smudge? Go on, enlighten us. How could a smudge tell us the killer? Left-handed. The killer must be left-handed. Yeah! Wait, why? Why does it, why does it prove that? How did you come to that conclusion? Wait, why does it prove that? <laughs> like if you're writing with your right hand, a pen wouldn't smudge as your hand doesn't rub against the ink. You're writing with your left hand. Your hands rub directly against the ink as you write it, smudging it. That, that's true. Right, yourself, viewers. Is that true? Okay, but if the killer is left-handed, they're sure. not gonna own up to it. Is it? We did it. That's true. N no. We did it. You good love? 
I didn't even know there was a thing. That's good. No. Yep. Yeah, yeah. No. What's wrong? Let's take this back to the court, Rand. Yeah. All right. So I messed up with the Orion thing, but I got this one right. Now, to be fair, there also just wasn't a lot of quotes. Yeah, it's in Fizzy's mouth. Fizzy's mouth has no. the saw. <laughs> Can someone please tell me what's going on? Mia, what's the matter? She knows who's left-handed. Don't be a What's wrong? Fizzy gives you a hug. Yeah, it's Fizzy. It, yeah, yeah. No, it's not. Fizzy is innocent. Yeah, stop. Yeah, Fizzy innocent. Fizzy that's where that's where the red thread came from. It came from her clothes. Didn't it? Fizzy is innocent. She's right-handed. She doesn't even have her right hand to use. Fizzy writes with her name. Fizzy promises. Why did Felicity say you were left-handed? Explain yourself. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I said I said this last stream. I'll say it again. But like, I feel like handedness. Whenever a character mentions being left or right-handed, like it's already a giveaway, right? Like it's been used so many times in mysteries. Not just like Ace Attorney, Dalrymple, that stuff. But like in any like you know Sherlock Holmes, Agatha Christie mysteries, the handedness of the killer is almost always like a dead giveaway. I feel sometimes it can be a good red herring. Right. In V3, there's a really good usage of a red herring for the left-hand, right-hand thing, which I, which I think is great. If, if, if you can change it to that, that's, that's great. But, um, I don't know. I feel like when someone mentions that they're left-right-handed, it's immediately like, okay, all right, I know what's happening. Like, it's a good contradiction, but it's just so overdone, I feel. Like, ugh. Now, if, if you can make it subtle, where it's like you have like a few images of one character being left-handed, and it's not mentioned in the dialogue, like you have like a sprite of them being left-handed, or maybe like a like an image of them, you know, writing with their left hand. That may, that, that'd be interesting. If like you don't directly allude to it, but I feel like if the dialogue is like, "Oh, I'm left-handed," yeah, it's like okay, it's like, it's like okay. <laughs> Please stop accusing her. She didn't do anything wrong. I don't care. I love it. It's a show of left-handed. I'm left-handed. I'm the killer. Yeah. It was no. me. I killed Dasunoku. No, no, no. No, that's wrong. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry, Mia, but you didn't kill Dasunoku. I did! I'm confessing! Right hand is the right hand of the little thing. Right? Right. right? No, no! Fizzy writes with the left! Is it the opposite for, like, Japanese? Because, like, Japanese, you write it from, uh, right to left. So, is it, like, 90% of Japanese writers, they, like, smudge? <laughs> they, like, smudge the, the pen or something? That's interesting. Really interesting. Busy yeah. specifically told us that she wrote with her left hand. Yep. Here it is. But the handwriting on the meeting letter and the memorial, because they don't match up. She could have easily faked either one of those to throw us off. Okay. Now explain the red hair. Symbol, as I said, it's a threat. Ah, here we are. Fizzy, open your mouth. And the size also in the mouth, huh? No. I have a red jacket and hat. It's my thread. <laughs> Boom! Fizzy opens the mouth. <laughs> Oh, what? Sounds about there. Now imagine being strangled by that puppet. A red thread from her tongue may have come off. Oh! And it would leave equal marks on the neck. Ah, uh, I didn't even think of that. Okay, now explain the wet collar. I didn't think of that one. What liquids are salty? Tears. Sea water? <laughs> Tears. Maybe Fizzy got super excited and... Stop right there. Started crying. Tell you what, I'll go over the case and maybe we'll... Oh, from the swimming pool? It's a bit quick, isn't it? Expose the truth, for sure. Because in English you go right to left to help the block the piece. Ah, that's interesting. They were invited by Galore and Nai to show us they hope to get their friends back on their fictional reality. Yeah. Interesting. However, Izzy was plotting something. And now both of their friends are dead. That's kind of funny. I'm getting, I'm getting kind of like, I haven't even seen it yet, but I'm kind of getting like Wayne and, Wayne and uh, Julia vibes from these two. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Before the night of the murder, Izzy had become aware of Monacan's cousin that she used for the murder. She knew Dasunoku was delusional, however, she didn't want to fully submit, so she decided to steal the pills as a backup. Yep, here we go. Hey, there's like Monokuma on the pills. Dasunoku was fascinated, received Monokuma the letter by telling him to go to the stage in order to compete in a duel. Being delusional, he went without question. Meanwhile, Fizzy waited at the stage for the dueling partner to arrive. Me and Toa, out looking for these exact individuals, spotted Dasunoku leave his room and head up to the second floor. Wait a second, he's Apollo! He's Apollo! I like that. We were kept back to the elevator, taking time to come back down for us. 
Once Dasunoku arrived at the stage, Fizzy quickly tricked him into taking the Monica, before brainwashing him into letting himself be killed. Okay. Where's the saw then? With oh. the puppet around his neck, Fizzy easily stopped Dasunoku from breathing before you hanging him up on a cross to give him that holy death he would have wanted. Okay. When Toa and I arrived at the second floor, we split up. What, what were the, As I entered the stage, I then? noticed the body and called for Toa. Toa! Fizzy must have heard us arrive and figured she should go whichever way Toa didn't take to get to the stage. This, uh, the girl does die with a puppet. Probably. Maybe, the, maybe only the puppet dies. Toa ran back downstairs to check if Fizzy was around. She was already in a room pretending to have been asleep. You're the killer, Fizzy. The ultimate puppeteer. Wait, but where's the saw then? Where's the saw? A good song. I enjoyed watching. No, not Julianne. That all made up. Fizzy didn't do that. The jig is up. I did kill Dazunoku. Fizzy. You're just admitting it. Yeah. Is that not what you wanted? I can explain more if you'd like. When Dazunoku arrived. Here's what happened. Rainbow emblem! We meet at last! I want you to consume this power crystal for Okay, I mean, sure. A real power uh, crystal? How? I mean, I, okay. Did you get this? Oh? There's something I need you to do, Yasai. I believe the only way to cleanse our world of the darkness within and to protect the dark heart of Zarkosia. I mean... ...is to sacrifice ourselves. I don't know, because like... Right. I don't know, because I, I feel like... ...the monopills being both the motive, where that's what drugged all the characters, but also being what kills them, it's like... I don't know, I, th I feel like... ...you're mixing like two things, you know what I mean? Like... I don't know. I've like, I've like mixed feelings about it just because it's like doubly, double usage, which is unique. It can be unique. For example, I don't know if you're still here, Amber, but like the metal detector in, um, in Turn About Goodbye is an Ace Attorney. You use the metal detector just like in the investigation to, I don't even know what you use it for, honestly. To the metal, uh, use a metal detector for something, I don't remember what you use it for. Is it to find Gordy or whatever? But you also, is used at the very end. You think it's useless, but you use it at the very end to accuse Von Karma, right? And I think that's nice because you're using it for two very different functions. here. One pill is kind of found the same function, or it's the motive, and it's also the killing thing. I mean, really, the thing that leads to the death. So I have like mixed feelings about that. Just because, like, I don't know, it could have been like, oh, you know, I spiked your drinks with roofies, and then also you took my sleeping pill. So it's like two different things, but here it's the same thing being used twice, I guess. I don't know if that makes sense, but like, it seems that I'm mixed feelings about that. I'll sacrifice myself afterwards. Okay, it's fine. Very well. May our hearts be united in the afterlife. I don't hate. Okay, now that Dasunoku is named Dasani and not Dasunoku, I kind of like him. Kind of like he's dead now, but I like him. Someone feed me a mono pill. Time Congratulations, Yasuhiro family. You've uh, you've redeemed one of your one of your members in my eyes. <laughs> I don't. I, I I like one of you. Leave this vessel. Oh. Vessel? What do you mean? I'm pretty sure Metal Tech can fall in the ocean, which is pretty hard to show you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but like, you know, yeah, yeah, that's, that, but it's really good usage, wouldn't you agree, Mer, that, like, you think it's used, after that, you think, oh, it's just in our, in our inventory, there's no use for it, and then you're like, oh, how do we find the bullet inside Von Karma? And it's like, oh, oh my god. Like, I think, no joke, that is one of the best, like, plot twists. It's so simple, but it's so, so magnificent how simple it is. I love it. It's one, it's one of my favorite twists in all of Ace Attorney, honestly. I feel like it's the first, like, super memorable twist that you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna remember this forever and ever. <laughs> but yeah. Innocent girl, you see me attached to. And soon you shall see the true power of the monopills. Explain yourself. You see, how those monopills. Oh, oh, did, did Fizzy get, like, the bonus thingy from, uh, Monocam? That's why, like, Little it's monster. more potent, maybe? I could not. Those pills made my vessel realize they were being piloted by me. I ceased to exist. And when I realized my powers were fading, I figured why not go out with a bang and end my vessel's life as well as my own. See, my vessel was not the one who murdered that Dasani guy. And yet, she is getting 
punished for it. No! <laughs> no! They're gonna kill Cho. What? Cho, who's gonna die? Oh no, Cho's- No! Ah, so... I figured it out. The plan worked then. Fizzy, what are you doing? What's going on? If I'm not wrong, you've seen the saw before, right? Yeah. That's, that's the saw. That's the saw! What? I should never have put that puppet on. What? It ruined my life! What? Oh my, oh my, oh my goodness! Oh my... Oh my god! What the frick? Oh my god! Oh. Attention! This is a fan what made spinoff and is not affiliated. It's gonna be like a reference to Toko and Peko. It's gonna be like a serial killer reference. No, it's not. My name is Cho. Cho Hyun Sook. My arm really hurt. Okay. I don't. Okay. I'm gonna say this now. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say it. I have an opportunity to say this now. Cho is her last name. Hyun Sook is her first name. Which is like, you know, some people introduce themselves by their last name first. I get. But like, I feel like that's something people don't get. Like Kim Jong Un's name is not Kim. His name is Jong Un. <laughs> His name is Jong Un Kim because in Korean and sometimes even Japanese names they put the last name first, right? I feel I feel like that's something that people don't realize. So I mean, I mean, maybe, maybe she's introducing herself by her last name, right? Maybe she maybe it's like oh my name is Smith, uh, Gundam Smith, right? <laughs> maybe, but like um, in this venture camp, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna use this opportunity to say this now. In this venture camp, Yul is from North Korea, but his name is Yul, which is very uncommon. To see a Korean, its name only be like one syllable. Usually, it's like two syllables, like Jong Kook or like Kui Jong or Hyun Min, right? So his name is just Yul. He's named after an American Survivor player named Yul. So, despite being from Korea, North Korea, he has the name of an American. <laughs> so it's very, it's very interesting. <laughs> like I get it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's just you know. His name is a reference to to a survivor player, but it's, it's just <laughs> it's an interesting contradiction, I guess. I do wish more people knew this, and it's legit error because the Japanese give last names first, first, last. Yeah, so 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 her name is not Cho; it's Hyun Sung Cho, not Cho Hyun Sung. But like you know, may, again, maybe maybe it's like a last name thing. Maybe it's like, hi, my name is Jones, Freddie Jones. <laughs> my name is Bond, James Bond. I don't know. <laughs> but like before, they said, oh, my name is Cho. That's, that's your last name. But it was the only way to stop the pain. The emotional torment of the last few years. I don't know if most people know that. I feel bad for the real you. I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Toe, was it? You remember what I told you? Yeah, I remember. The last thing I remember was putting on this puppet in the. Oh my god, oh my god, that well. Oh my god, that's tough. Holy shit. Putting the puppet in the prop room of choice. The next thing I knew, I was just gonna pull on all of you. Oh, it's like a parasite! Oh gosh, okay, so Fizzy's a parasite, what if Orion is also be- Oh my gosh, what if Orion's hat is like a parasite that took over Orion? What if it's gonna be like, oh yes, Dio's mask is taking over him, Fizzy's puppet, Orion's hat, I don't know, <laughs> that'd be kind of funny. That was the, the plot twist that their clothing and stuff is like taking control of them, that's why they're all doing these murders. That'd be interesting. I figured out, the pills you see- uh, maybe you all see things, but not me. For me, I can finally see again. That's 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 a good twist. That's a good. I like that. I like that. It's like because she's already like hallucinating. Um, the pills actually made her see the real world. That's that's interesting. The puppet had lost control, but only for a short time. After it happened twice, I figured the next thing I would make an effort to figure out what was going on, which is why I ran out of the stage room. Mm -hmm. Then I followed you. You were the one. You told me we were in a killing game. Well. Then I saw you in the bathroom. You did. You saw my face. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe I lost three years of my life to a puppet. I couldn't remember anything, and now I wake up in this killing game. I don't understand. And, and why did you do it? Why did you kill Dasunaku? 
I didn't want to. After my brother realized I was regaining control, I think she knew she had a bit in my body, but she brought me down with her. She killed someone, so I would suffer the consequences. Okay. Wait, so what do you remember? What do you think? Oh my god! Oh my god, it's the turn about Big Top music. It's the Big Berry Circus music. His real name is Joshua Ewell. <laughs> Joshua Ewell. Uh, no, the, the real Ewell is like one of the nicest and smartest Survivor players, so it's, it's very ironic. I thought there was an error where the creator thought Joe was a first name. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Maybe that's what they're going for, honestly. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. How is she not bleeding out right now? How is she not bleeding out? Maybe she's. New act. I'm working on it. Not something by the interval. This is a, this is a nice this is a nice model. I don't I don't think they're gonna use this just for, just for this one like cameo. I think I think this character is gonna play a big role in the future. There's no way this is just a cameo. If you can't, you're not getting paid. That's the astronomia promise. Astronomia. <laughs> don't worry. I have a few ideas. I have got no ideas. God, what am I going to do? Think, Cho. Think. I also oh, find it funny because Cho. You know, like Cho Chang in Harry Potter. A like, very racist name for one. Like Cho Chang is not a I mean to be fair, Cho Chang's like ethnicity is never revealed if she's Chinese or Japanese or Korean, but like very racist name, JK Rowling. Come on. <laughs> um that that's like naming your Irish character like I don't know, like Seamus O Flanagan or something. I don't know. <laughs> very racist. But um Cho Cho is a last name for one, it's not first name. And Chang is like, that's a Chinese name, but Cho's like a Korean name, so it's like, what the heck are you doing, J.K. Rowling? I mean, I, I, know, I, I know it's obviously J.K. Rowling, I know, I know she's not a good person, but still. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's very ironic that the name is Cho, that's what I'm trying to say, it's very ironic, because that's not a name. Okay, no, well, no, no, she, she is Korean, she is Korean, so I guess it is a name. Uh, it is I'm sure I can find something in there. Magic? No. Animal painting? No. Something I can- Yeah, the real you is awesome, it's awesome. I've never seen this oh no! Oh no! Why not? <laughs> it's like a parasite! Shame was O'Flanagan. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, prepare to cry. Prepare to cry. Please do a round of applause. Even my jokes about Irish Harry Potter name would be Quintain. <laughs> no, I mean the the real uh, the real Seamus, there's, there's there's an Irish character in Harry Potter. I think his name's like Seamus like Finnegan or something like that. It's something that's super stereotypical. He's, he's, the, he's the kid that like blows stuff up. I, I don't remember his full name. <laughs> Welcome, my friend. Here they come. I need to hear some cheering. Yeah, it's just, it's just. <laughs> so we're talking to a puppet, huh? Oh, robot! If I'm going to die, please, can you do one more thing for me? Um. What? I saw that name a lot, and I hope it did say something offensive. In the circus, when somebody was sad, I took it upon myself to make them happy. And. <laughs> The best way to make it happen is listening to music. I know somebody had friends. French, so with Fizzy and yeah. So if I'm going to die, I want happy music to lead me off stage. Um Sure, whatever. Here, I have this cassette I carry with me for moments like these. I like to be played one last time for me. Aw, oh, happy music. Ah! It's Maya's song. No, it's Trucy's song. It's Trucy's song! No. <laughs> you don't remember us at all, do you? Mia, right, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm surprised Neo has emotions. I thought Neo would be like stoic and stuff. Please don't cry for me, no, Neo. Please be happy. Please smile. I can't die with you being sad. N no. No, I can't. I can't smile at a time like this. Do you need a big ol' fizzy? Yeah, yeah, he kept blowing stuff up. Big ol' fizzy cuddle? Uh, I, I can't. I can't aww. smile. You can't die. You can't. It'll be okay. You'll be okay without me. I know the, you will. The whiplash I'm facing though, because this is Trucy's song, it's like... <laughs> Sleep. Just smile. Oh, man. It's so difficult, People but I'll try. Uh, Mana Cam's gonna... Do you ever... Sh Toa is so rude! Oh my gosh, I, I love it. It's, it's unique. Tears. Tears. They're usually soft, aren't they? Think about it for the position of the body when physical strength doesn't know if she were crying, the tears would have soaked his collar. Oh! I'm so proud. That's what I said. I was, I was joking about the tears, and I didn't think that would actually be real. Oh, I did not think of that. Please put your hands together. But wait, what were the two holes? No. 
Was it ever revealed with the two holes? Or was it the saw? Because it's like, she, she's just choking him. I guess, the, okay, I guess the saw was used to make the cross. The cross was, like, barely mentioned, by the way. Like, it was barely mentioned. But, um, I guess the saw was used to make the cross. But what were the two holes? Was it ever revealed what the two holes were? And, okay, so so I thought I thought the saw would be, like, hiding in someone's clothing, maybe under someone's hat, maybe in, like, Fizzy's mouth. But, like, it was just on her person. She was just, like, hiding it, I guess. Just like, okay. I don't know, I, th I thought they were setting up, like, oh, it's in someone's bag, it's in someone's jacket. But no, it was just... I don't know. That point... You make a point to burn that puppet, it's a hazard. Well, sure thing! I'm sorry for everything I may have caused. Okay, so the puppet being, like, a parasite, um... It's not, not the most unexpected. Like I think you can tell, like, oh, maybe the puppet is controlling her. Ah, uh, she's not actually like. Pup if I died again, god damn it. Fine. Fine. God damn it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh my god. One second. <laughs> For entertainers, the worst of times are when you have to force your biggest. Ah, oh, Mia Fey. Mia Fey. It's time to close my final curtain. No. Oh, well, five broke. That's that's a fight. Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me fix five first before we uh, do the execution. Oh, hello. Let's uh let's, let's fix five first before we do the execution. But um, there's a few missing threads. I feel not missing threads. Like loose threads. Um, the 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 thread being the tongue. That was smart. That was really smart. I I I, I did not think of that. Um. Just the, the pills, yeah. I mean, a little, like, a little weird again. Like I said, it's, it was the thing that drugged the first name already, <laughs> Dasani in the first place, and it was the thing that, uh, you know, was used to manipulate him. So I'm, I'm very mixed feelings on the pills. Uh, but the saw, it's like, I don't know. No, that, that's, that's the default, like, model. Um, do you remember what the saw was? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that feels like I feel like it, I feel like I feel like it was me not paying attention more more than the story. I feel like it was explained decently enough. I just didn't pay attention. But yeah, there are a few like things missing. But I, I do like this case. Um, I think it is more cohesive than the first one, but also easier than the first one. If that makes sense. More cohesive, but also easier. Um, I have no complaints. I, I I like that. I like the twists. I like the uh, the party they had. Um, very nice. Very nice. Uh, a lot of ongoing mysteries at the moment. Pills really are first thing here, yeah. I'd love for your reactions. Um, yeah, there are a few, like, things that I'm, like, a little iffy on. Like, I feel like how I would improve is that, firstly, maybe there are two pills. There are two kinds of pills. There's, like, sleeping pills and the, the mono pills. I feel like them being the same is a little cheap. Right? It feels a little cheap that it's, like, multi-purpose pills, right? Uh, especially because it's a fictional pill, right? Like, even Zeroscape, even though it has multiple pills, I forgot what they're called, but, like, in VLR, there's, like, multiple, like, drugs and stuff, but they all, like, have different functions. It's not just one drug that can fit whatever you want for the plot, right? Uh, I, forgot what, I forgot what the drugs were called. Um, but there, there were, like, two or three different ones. Like, there's an antidote one, there's a drugging one. But, yeah. Uh, secondly, the saw, I just... I feel like that one could have been, like, oh, Fizzy hasn't talked in a while. Maybe the saw is in Fizzy's mouth. Right? As, as in the puppet, right? Oh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Or maybe like, oh, it's behind Cho's mask. Maybe like, maybe like the saw was like hiding behind Cho's mask. I don't know. Cause like, it, it was just like, oh, it's, 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 it's in this room. It's like, yeah, no, I, I don't know. There's no reason for the saw to still be in the room. Okay, no, 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 okay. The missing saw, no, it had to be in the room because she had to cut her arm off, right? So that, that, that one's fair. That, that one's interesting. But like, I wish it was like, Maybe she has a bag, you know? Maybe if it, the character's holding the bag. Or maybe... I don't know. I don't know. The first three mysteries I had were basically fully planned out. The first two were fully written scripts. I feel like I can tell this is a passion project. It makes me sad that the mysteries never see the light of day. You gotta... You gotta... It's harder, because like, I know that this is like a visual medium, but like maybe a fanfic would be a good medium. Like, writing it down in text. It's not the worst medium. 
maybe even like a, like a script, and then you can like hire voice actors to read it out. So it's like an audio drama. I mean, I mean, that's like what I feel has been underutilized. It's a lot of like audio drama, like podcast stuff, where there's no there's no visuals, but it's all in the audio. Like I feel like there are a lot of good audio dramas out there, but none of them are like the murder mystery, like Ace Attorney, Dr. Rumpa kind of genre. Which is such a waste, because I feel like it would do really well. Even, even like the Elimination Game, like Total Drama, an audio play in that format would be really interesting, I feel. Like, yeah, you're missing out the visuals, but at the same time, you can make up for it with the sound effects, the voice acting, and all that stuff. So, I interesting. Wait, okay. I just said- Whoa, wrong video. It's okay. Alright, let's see how Fizzy does. It's gonna be like a circus, right? Fizzy's final curtain call. Oh, Bill Cipher! Hold up, what was that? Did Kiminari? Oh no, Kim, Kim. Yeah, Kiminari. Is it. Oh my god, is that a strap one? What the frick is that? Bye, Fizzy. Bye, Cho, I guess. I like the music. Oh. oh god, it's so bloody. Laugh now. No! Oh, I got a pi- oh my gosh. Piano fell as well. Nia, are you okay? Miss, Miss Harper. Zoe! Zoe, are you? Why is Zoe? Hey. Zoe friends gonna <laughs> Gal, are you okay? Oh, I'm more worried about you. The biz. I'm still smi- I'm still smiling. For her. For Cho. Best we keep you that way. And so it begins. Your new- your new rooms, right? That's correct. New rooms. A whole new floor. Yeah. Yes. Come on, let's go. Let's explore. I'm going to my room. No, I'm going to my room. The hell? What? Come on, you gotta explore the new floor with me. Jeez. I told you already, I'm not going. Twins are gonna do something next time, right? Aww. Don't forget, I wanna bring your mom back. Let's work it out together. Get the fuck away from me! Oh god! Oh my gosh! Shut up! Shut up! Leave me alone! The twins are gonna die next chapter, right? You know next about chapter. mine, right? You wanna see your mom again, don't you? <laughs> Trust me. Is Sukimo a character from yeah, I'm us? Gonna kill you. Is Sumiko a character from Ultra Despair Girls? I never played Ultra Despair Girls, I don't know. And there we go, we are down to 12. Let's place our bets here. What do we think is gonna happen? I predict that two people will die next chapter. Two people will be the victims. So three people are gonna die next chapter. Two of them are gonna be the twins. It's gonna be the twins and one of the other characters. I don't know which one. I wanna say Liliana. Sorry. Lilia. Yeah, Lilia and the twins are my bet. Right now. I don't think it's gonna be Rusi. I don't think it's gonna be Toa. I don't think it's gonna be Nia. Could be Galar? Maybe. Don't think it's Galar though. Felicity seems important. Dio and Ares and Zoe. Like, they seem too, like, chapter 4 coded, you know what I mean? Like, they seem coded to be, like, the big, like, oh, one of us is gonna sacrifice our lives. Like, Sakura, like, spoilers for anyone who didn't play Danganronpa 2. Like, Danganronpa V3, kind of. Like, I feel like they always go for the sacrifice play in chapter 4, and I feel like Ares and Ordeo is more likely to do that. Asachi feels a little too important. Lilia also feels kind of important about the war. Like, I know it was kind of explained, but I, I'm still subscribed to the time travel thing, just because one of the characters- I don't remember which character was it, Sachi. No, it was Palano. Palano mentioned, like, you know, some, like, outdated stuff, and it's like, hmm, maybe he was brought back from the past. I don't know. Yeah, they're chapter 4 coded. Hello, Mandy, what's up? Murder Mystery Audio Drum would be fun with him. Well, I bet you'd need to pay your VAs a ton if they can play such a massive I can't predict chapter 3, but I predict chapter 4 so that got to that point. 
Yeah, um, Ares and Dio, they just, they scream like, we're gonna die in chapter four. <laughs> That's the vibe I get from them. Okay, my bet, we're gonna lose the twins and Liliana. We're gonna lose three characters in that chapter, then we're gonna lose Ares and Dio, and then chapter five, some insane stuff is gonna happen. I don't know what it is. I think one of the quote-unquote main characters, like I'd say the mains right now are Rusi, Felicity, and Toa. Asachi is kind of a main character. He's kind of a main character. Um, but he, he hasn't like completely earned it yet. Galar is like the token, like not main character, but like very helpful guy. Like he's like the Kazuichi. Um, he's like the Soda. Nia is like, Nia could die. I think Nia could die. I don't think Nia's the mastermind anymore. I thought, like, she's like, oh my god, like, what? I hate being her kind of girl, but she, she, yeah, she's shown emotion this chapter, so she's, she, there's a lot more to her than I think. Felicity, as for the mastermind, my bets are on Felicity. I think maybe, like, the clothing is taken over. I, this is such a weird theory, but, like, we had Fizzy, we had Orion, and my theory is that Orion's hat is, like, controlling them. It's like a parasite, so maybe, maybe, like, Dio's, like, mask is gonna take over. Maybe the devil on, like, Ga Gaia's shirt is gonna take over. I don't know. I don't know. I think we're ready to go. Motive number three, let's see if you work. Oh, boy. Oh! Oh, God. What the heck? It's a baby. Hello, Mono Pam. Will you be my best friend? Oh, my God. Let me know if you have any issues. Oh, my God, it's a yandere. Oh, it's like oh, okay. That's oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. It's like one of those octopuses that they um. Oh uh, God, I don't want to get this wrong. I, I don't want to get this wrong. People on the spectrum, they have like this little octopus toy that you can make like happy or sad depending on the mood. I know that um, what's her name? I forgot. What's her name again? How dare you! You have ruined my dreams. What's her name? How dare you! Fair name. <laughs> What's her, what's her name? I forgot her name. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Crap. So, does someone know her name? <laughs> the, the Swedish. Like, she's an environmentalist. Environmental advocate. I don't know her name, though. <laughs> okay, whatever. You, I'm sure you guys know who I'm talking about. Um, you have any issues? That's what she has, she has to That's all I know about it. Well, there we go, that's the end of chapter two. Pretty good. I... I quite enjoyed that. European... environmentalist young girl, I her name. Greta Thunberg, that's her name. <laughs> no, it's Greta Thunberg, that's okay. Um... But yeah. No, he told me he's Dutch. What are you talking about? Tell me he's Dutch. Um, <laughs> good chapter. I am going to play Dasunoku's free time event. Maybe also Fizzy's free time event. That'd be fun as well. But I'm gonna I'm gonna play Fizzy's or Dasunoku's free time event just because it's Celeste and you know just or Celeste. Attention! This is a fan made spin off and is not affiliated with any official Dungan Rumpa companies or I'm not, I'm not gonna read it out loud. Tired, but, uh, I'll just, Viewer discretion is advised. I'll just read it. Use your eyes to read this. What was that? Is that a riot? Goodness. Oh, Akapashi is interviewing the whole thing. That's cool. Aww. Oh, that's smart, because he's the journalist. That's I'll smart. Explain. They're using him as the free time event. You're good at blackjack. How did you get to that? Oh, I learned it from my wife. Ah. Why? Why are you married to Celeste? Attention, yep. Parents arranged a marriage? Yep. Yep. Horrible marriage. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You got the short end of the stick, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Keiko. 
Or it's a taco. Fucking taco. Taco. Which does not like being called that since it's an ugly name. I think it's rather cute. Yeah, I think it's a cute name too. But like, she's evil. She said my surname was ugly and I changed that as well. Yeah, she, she finds everything ugly. No, no, no. So, so. She didn't even go back to her family name. She made a completely new one just to disassociate. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what she did. That, that one's fine. I mean, fake name, you know, new names. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. Just, just, I don't like the person you married. That's the one I don't like. Oh, boy. You're not the only one. Reading every book in the household library? Oh man, that's a lot of books! I assume, I assume you have a big library. All 1,392! Oh my god. Books are for nerds! I like, I like him, he's cool. He, you know what, you know what? He didn't marry Celeste out of his own volition. Italy, I spent my youth stealing Carn Nisera from my papa. Appears to be. Oh. Okay. Taiko. Manga. The Tanaka Mecha Samurai. Interesting. Pay attention, please. Oh, so that was like he was a fan of the samurai stuff, and that's probably why he uh delusioned himself into being like a superhero. Okay. Taiko. Yep. Aw. She? Please! <laughs> I've been working on this OC! <laughs> okay, sure. That's funny. <laughs> I call him this aww. Aww. This son of a So I'm guessing that whatever Monocam did to Dasunoku, like really got him to live his true ideals, as opposed to Celeste. And it's a nice parallel to Celeste, who, you know, the Celeste Ludenberg persona is something that she really wanted in her life. And I guess he really wanted to be Nasani, instead of being Dasunoku as a hero. Okay, okay that, that's, that's interesting. Right. I, like that. I like that. I like that. Okay. Yeah. Aww. Okay, so he's more of a Sam. And I find it interesting because the thing that Celeste used to kill Kifumi and Taka was, was the robot suit, the Robo Justice suit. So it's very interesting that he's in the robots as well. It's a good parallel. Okay. You know what, Fen? You know what? I admit, I, I like, I like, I like this honey. I, I like, I like him, you know? I feel bad. He, he wasn't forced, he was forced to marry Celeste. So that's not his fault. He, he, he doesn't love Celeste. He was forced to marry her. And he had to, like, wear, like, the clothing as well. Oh, he's dead now, so no more Celeste jokes. <laughs> Man, I, it's so it's so funny to me. <laughs> like this this React series, I, was, I had no idea there'd be a character so directly related to my arch nemesis. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, I like him. He's cool. he's dead now, but he's cool. All right, guys, I think that's about it for chapter two. I'm, I'm gonna save. Uh, Liz, uh, Lizzie, not Lizzie, Fizzy. For next time, chapter three. I'm very excited. I it's, it's picking up. Kind of sucks. You only like him after. No, I liked him when he was Dasani for a little bit. But then I knew that he was gonna die because I saw the spoiler image of him on the cross. So I knew that's the only spoiler I've seen so far. I haven't seen anything else. So hopefully, I don't see anything else. So anyway, um, before I go, why don't you send me a tier list of something, and I'll give you either my thoughts or I will like blindly try to like guess thing. Give me like a- I'm not gonna leave just yet. Just give me a tier list and I'll- I'll do a quick one. I'm not- I'm not gonna like spend too much time on it. And then in- in about like 30 minutes to an hour, I will release the podcast. I'll let the next episode of the podcast. What is Nosegay? What the heck is Nosegay? I'm not leaving yet, kids. Come down. <laughs> we're just- we're just staying around for like four minutes. <laughs> Garland. Judy Garland. Judy Garland. Judy- Judy Greer. Judy knows Judy, Judy knows game person. What's nose game? What is that? Oh, Judy Nench. That's another one. And Judy 
Judy hops. Judy hops. Judy hops. Judy plays. Who is Judy Nosegay? That's person. No, Judy Nosegay is not a person. Judy. Gary? Judy. Judy Iyer? No. Judy Accord? Judy Rage? Judy Act? Judy Reef? No. Judy Pledge? Judy Judy Arrangement. Yes, my name is Judy Arrangement. <laughs> Judy, Judy Justice? Oh, Judge Judy! Like Judge Judy, right? Justice Judy. <laughs> Justice Judy. Judy, wait, Judy Justice? What? Judy Justice, what is that? Wait, it's, wait, it's, it's called Judy Justice? I thought it was called Judge Judy. What? Am I being gaslit? I thought, I thought it was called Judge Judy, not Judy Justice. Oh, it's two different shows. Pledge, arrangement, agreement, accord. Those are like agreements, right? That's not it. Ire, fury, hatred, rage. Those are all like rage. Pledge, arrangement, agreement, pact. Those are all like. No? Reef, okay. That was gay. Pact. I have no idea, man. Cheat. I have no idea. Is it not any of these? What? What is that? Deal? Okay, sure. A nose gay wreath bouquet arrangements. Okay. I don't know what a nose gay is. I never heard of that. Whatever nose gay is. What is a nose gay? I have no idea. I got a tier list for you above. Uh, down the rope of despair time. I've never seen that, but sure, why not? Why not? Tell us, I think JPEG is leaving. <laughs> I, uh... Yeah, no, I can't stream tomorrow, sadly. So probably next week. I'll see you guys next week. It's Friday. Maybe next Friday or Saturday. We'll see. Depends on when there is no, uh... It's on your file stream, which there might not be. Okay, we're gonna do... Oh my gosh, there's a lot. Okay, this is obviously the Monokuma. It's mono... 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 Mono screen. This is mono screen. No, mono screen, and the, their voice is like... You know the computer from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared? It's like, I'm a computer, I'm a computer -y guy, everything made out. That's what they sound like. Yeah, I'm gonna put them in neutral, they're probably fine. This is, this is the main, do they have American names or do they have like Japanese names? Or do they have like, uh, like diverse names? What are we doing? So I'm gonna guess this guy is named Simon, Simon, Simon Ginger. This is Simon Ginger, he's the protagonist. And like, he's like a little shit. So the, the whole thing is that it's, it's a subversion of Makoto. Well, Makoto's a really nice guy, but this is this one's like a little shit. He's like always causing mischief, and he's like, oh, how am I gonna kill someone? But then he never ends up killing someone. Like, his whole... It might not even be a he. But um, <laughs> this character's whole ego is that he's like always trying to kill people, but he secretly doesn't want to do that, obviously. And that's like his facade. He puts on a facade to like get away with stuff. Simon Ginger, that's the name. Um, I'm not gonna comment because it's funny. Well, I, I, can't, I can't say like Japanese names because I don't really know. Japanese naming conventions, so I'm just gonna give them like super like American, you know, maybe not American, but like super like westernized names. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Simon Ginger is pretty good. This is I don't even, okay. This is Kenneth. This is Kenneth uh, Schwartz. This is Kenneth Schwartz, and he's like okay. I think it's the talents. Okay, so he's the ultimate like. He's the ultimate. Like, okay, I, w I wish I could see their full like renders because I can't see his clothes. I can only see his face. I'll tell you what, I'll open Despair- I'm gonna open Despair Time, but I won't look at their names or anything like that. Despair Time, no. Just, just so that I can look at their full clothes. Okay, oh, I see some of the names, but like, I'm, not, I'm not gonna look at the names. I'm just gonna see the outfits. Uh, uh, okay, he looks like a cowboy? Is he a cowboy? Is he the ultimate cowboy? Yeah, maybe- oh yeah, yeah, oh, that could be- oh, that's all- okay. So it's like, you know, like, Billy the Kid, and like, Jesse James and like who are their cowboys? Like he's like the bad boy. He's like, oh yeah, I'm evil. I'm gonna kill you all. I'm the sheriff. There's a new sheriff in town. And then he goes like bang, bang, bang. Um, 
but secretly he's the protagonist. No, he is the protagonist. He's like a really nice guy. I don't know. I'm, I'm only calling him the protagonist because he was first on the list. But I'm gonna guess he's the protagonist. His name is Simon Ginger. Um, now, okay, you know, what? let's 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 give him like a bit of cowboyism. So Simon, Simon, Simon James. Yeah, like like Jesse James, the cowboy. Simon James. But like his his nickname is the Kid. They call him the Kid. <laughs> and he's he, he's like Ashley. He's like yeehaw, partners. It's time for another killing. Who's gonna? Who am I gonna hang next? But he's actually like sweetheart. Okay, so that's Simon Simon James, aka the Kid. Now this is this is um, Kenneth Schwartz. He's the ult. Let me see his let me see his design. He is the ult. He looks like I want to say he looks like a K-pop star, but like I don't know. He looks like a K-pop star. Uh, he's the ultimate like I want to say e boy. And he's the ultimate breakdancer, let's say that. He's the ultimate breakdancer, and his whole gimmick is that he's always breakdancing, and like, he thinks that everyone thinks he's cool, but he's really not cool. Like, and it's like, his breakdancing is really bad, like he... You know that scene in Total Drama Action, where Trent is like, on the floor, and it's like, Chris is like, that's not dancing! That's kind of like what he does, that's what, that's what, um, Kenneth does here, Kenneth Schwartz. Um, he's the ultimate breakdancer. <laughs> Can I even guess if they're like the, the victims or the cult? This, I like these designs. I might check them to spare time, even though it's not done yet. Just because I really like these designs. I don't even know if I can guess if they're the culprit or the victims, because I, I don't know. Because like, I don't even know if it's done yet. I don't want you to know, search up anything with a spare time until you watch it. So, it's, it's great, it's spare time. so this is this is Kenneth Schwartz. He's the ultimate break dancer. I'm going to say he's really annoying. Kenneth Schwartz is super annoying. Um, this next one is... Let me look, look at her design. Uh, she looks like a waitress? She looks like a robot waitress. Is she a robot? She looks like a waitress robot. The image, okay, the image that I have is really dark. It's like, it's very hard to see. Okay, this is a better image. Um, yeah, she looks- wait, why are both of these images are like so dark? I can barely see it. Um, whatever, uh. Yeah, she, she looks like a robot waitress? Like, does she have like a- Checker pattern on her? She might be like ultimate like bartender or like ultimate like God, I don't want to say gambler because that's Celeste. But, like she could be that. Uh, I'm gonna say like hmm. she gives me like horror kind of vibes. Like she looks really creepy. I don't know. Um robot. So maybe like a robot. I, I was gonna oh okay, no, no. It was like a scary kind of like name. Like a robotic kind of name. Like Edgar Allan Poe. He's a guy, so like, <laughs> your name's not Edgar. Ellen. Let's give her Ellen. Like Edgar Allen. So it's like Ellen. 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 Uh. Ellen Vaughn. Ellen Vaughn. Ellen Vaughn. Uh. Dimitri. Ellen Vaughn Dimitri is her name. <laughs> That's so bad. And she's the ultimate, like. Ultimate, like. I'm gonna say she's. I'm gonna say she's like a castle maid. She's like the maid of like a castle. Like kind of like Celeste has her vampire butler. She's like the, the 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 maid of like a European like like Dracula kind of figure. Let's give her that. Ellen von Ellen von. Uh, I already forgot. Was it Ellen von Dimitri? Let's go with that. Because <laughs> I was trying to think of like female horror authors, but I can't really think of any other than like Mary Shelley from Frankenstein. But like Mary is such a boring name. So let's give her like Ellen. Ellen von. And I bet she's like probably like everyone's like, oh she's best I love Ellen. Ellen is best girl. Those eyeballs are giving that photograph. Like, Wolf King? I don't want to confirm her tonight. She's the ultimate toothpaste. Who's this? This is this is uh is it, I don't even know if that's a guy or a girl. Non-binary. I don't even know. Let me at least see the design. Wait, they're not on they're not on Oh that's a girl. Um that's a girl. She's wearing like the Japanese schoolgirl outfit. Okay, so uh no, she's the protagonist, isn't she? She's the only one that's wearing like the Japanese school uniform, so I think I think it has to be her. Um, okay, she's the protagonist. She's the ultimate schoolgirl. That's what she is, and her name is probably something like Japanese. I'm gonna say her name is like what's a Japanese name? What's a Japanese name that's not already done in Dungeon? Her name is is her name is Toru Toru uh, Hagakura. No, <laughs> her name is Toru. I don't know. I I don't even know Japanese names. I'm just gonna throw sh Toru uh, Okabe. There we go. Toru Okabe. 
Random name. Doesn't even mean anything. She's the ultimate, she's the protagonist, she's the ultimate schoolgirl. She's probably like, I don't know. She's probably like fine. She's probably just whiny. I guess. Oh, I should probably talk about Ellen. Ellen is like, she's like trying to serve people. She's like, ah, ah, ah. maybe she's like Polish or Dutch. She's like, hello, my name is Ellen. I'll tell you what, do you want some drinks? I've got some drinks for you. Ah. Uh, yeah. It's my forte. Uh, her name is Celeste. Oh, God. Um, yeah, her name, her name is Toru. I already forgot. Toru Okabe. <laughs> this one is Toru. And like, she's just the student, right? She's just the... The one who studied. I mean, I don't know, because like, I feel like it'd be boring if she's a protagonist, but like, she's the only one who really looks like a protagonist out of the cast. And she's wearing the schoolgirl uniform that like most Japanese students wear. So maybe she's like the token, like. Oh, Fai's eyes just went buggy all of a sudden. That was weird. Maybe she's the token, like. Normal one. I don't know. So th this one, this one, it. Whoa, who's this? Okay, she, she looks like a painter. She's got like the apron on, she's got like colors on her clothes. She's the ultimate, like, painter. Um, and her, her name is, like, uh, Monet. Her name is Monet. Um, Monet Da Vinci. No, it's, it's stupid. No, Monet. Monet. What's the name of that? Georgina. There we go. Monet Georgina is her name. And she, um, no, no, no Monet O'Keefe. That's right. Monet O'Keefe. And it's like, she is a painter, but for the dark web. That's why her name is Monet. It's like a pun on money. So it's like, she will like sell her artworks to like black market dealers who really like her artwork. Like, yes, more art Monet. And it's like she has like a, like a lot of like creepy like simps on the dark web who really like her and they buy her art. That's her name. I can confirm that I'm also out of the blue. I hope no one else but me has seen everyone so far though. But yeah, this is Monet, Monet O'Keefe. And she is an art dealer. Um, she sells it on the black web. And she has a lot of simps who like her. Her name is that she, I think Hunter says. Her name is a shitty thing. Easy, Monet! <laughs> yeah, I, be I bet that she is also considered best girl. Like, a lot of people are like, oh my god, Monet is best girl, I want her art, oh my god. And like, she's really good with the trials because she draws everything really well. Um, yeah, so th this is, oh my god, this guy's, this guy's like a little vampire boy. What is this? What is this little vampire boy? This is, uh, see his design. Or, or her, it might be a girl. Or a non-binary. This is, um, oh, he's kind of cut off. She? The design's kind of cut off in this picture. I need to see a better picture. Uh, oh, he, oh, he? He looks like a Pokemon trainer? Is he like the ultimate Pokemon trainer? Yeah, I'm gonna say like ultimate Pokemon trainer. Um, and like, oh, oh, I'll tell you what, maybe, maybe he plays like quote unquote Pokemon, but like it's called like Kusimon or something else. In universe and it's like it's like oh I gotta catch the rare Kusimon. Oh I'm out of Pokeballs. Oh this is the worst. And he's like he's kinda like red or yeah red for the Pokemon games or Ash or whatever you want to call him. Where he's very naive, he doesn't talk that much. Um he's he's like in his own world and he always wants to capture the Pokemon. So like um let's say his name is it's gotta be like something that Pokemon would do like red red and his last name is like Oh, maybe not red, because red's always taken. Like, like, a, like, gray. Gray? Gray? And, like, a tree name. Gray? Gray? Not oak. Gray? Evergreen. No, that evergreen has a color in it. Gray? Palm. No, gr uh, gray palm. <laughs> gray? What's a tree? Gray? What, man, what, what are trees? Gray spruce. His name is Gray spruce. <laughs> gray spruce. And gray spruce is... Yeah, he's like he's like he's like a cute he's like really cool boy. He's kinda like Gundam, but like more chill. He's like, oh man, I, I, I missed my rare chance to capture a Pokey Spook. I could have captured a Pokey Spook right there. Uh he's a Monday. So the parody is called Kusimon, but they still call him Pokey the Gray Red <laughs> No, his name is Gray Gray Spruce. He's Gray Spruce. That's the name. Alright, this, this one this one's the, like just a ghost girl. This one's just a ghost girl. She's like the Jap typical like Japanese like scary kind of girl. A horror theme. Um, let's go. Okay, so you know how like Shinigami is a thing. Like, oh, it's the Shinigami. What was it called in Dual Destinies? The um, I forgot the the festival. What was it? Oh my god, what was it? Dual Destinies. There's the spooky ones. Monstrous turnabout. It began with a Y, I think. What was it called? Began with a Y. It's another word for yokai. Yokai. 
Okay, her name will be Yokai Shin Shinigami. Uh, this is Yokai Shinigami, and she's the ultimate, like, paranormal. The ultimate paranormal. She just, like, you know, she's, she's like, Dawn from Total Drama. She just randomly, like, floats everywhere. She's always floating, and, uh, she's always, like, haunting the schools, like, oh, oh, like, everyone is like, oh my god, she's paranormal. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, so she's, like, whatever, she's, she's fine. I think a lot of people will be like, oh, it's kind of a tired trope, but then, like, because she has, like, supernatural power, she can tell the future and all that stuff, people are like, oh, she's actually cool, I like, I like Yokai Shinigami. Um, but yeah, oh, this guy, oh, this person looks cool. Who's this? Look at this. That one looks cool. I, I, I don't even know which one that is. I can't even find him. I don't even know who this one. Oh, here, here, okay. This is, uh, Joe. This is Joe Mama. No, uh, Joe Kazuna. No. <laughs> Joe, I made some joke again. Joe... Joe... He looks like a detective, but I feel like detective is so boring. Maybe Inspector. Oh, oh, wait, are those his arms? Oh my gosh, those are his arms. I thought that was something else. Oh my goodness. Guys. How, how old are these people? How old are these people? Because, like, I don't, I don't want to say Ultimate Stripper. That's inappropriate. That's what he looks like. He looks like a stripper. Not like, not like a naked stripper, but like one of those, like, you know those Chippendales? Like, strippers? That's what he looks like. I'm going to say he's the ultimate, like, inspector. But he's, like, not your usual, like, nerdy inspector. He's, like, a really buff inspector. He's like, hey, come here. I'm the inspector. You want to fight? Yeah, let's say, let's say Joe... Joe Gumption. No. Joe... <laughs> Joe, Joseph, Joseph Colombo. His name is Joseph Colombo. He's like the ultimate inspector. He's really buff. He's really talented. And you think like, oh, he's just a pretty boy, but no, he's actually like really. really he's like he's like kind of like Bowie, where you think, oh, he's just gonna be like this, this stereotype, but no, he's actually really cool, really smart, really strategic. I'm Joey Mama, the ultimate this guy. Yeah, he's Joey. His name is Joseph uh, Colombo, but his nickname is Joey Amazing. That's his nickname. His nickname is Joey Amazing. <laughs> this little one. This little one is. Ooh, look at this one. This one is. Oh, he, he also looks like a Pokemon trainer. Uh, he also looks like a break dancer. This guy. He's, uh, this this is um. I don't know who this is. This is uh. This one. This one looks non-binary to me. This one's non-binary. They're they. They go by they pronouns. This is um. Sam. Sam. Smith. This, no. <laughs> Sam. Sam de la Cruz, the Sam de la Cruz, um, <laughs> Sam de la Cruz, and they are non-binary, they are the ultimate, uh, parkour master, this one likes doing parkour, they, they do a lot of parkour, they're always jumping around place to place, and it's like, oh my gosh, there's no one in the crime scene, but it's secretly Sam is on, like, the ceiling, uh, because they, they just, like, they can climb on the ceiling, because they're really good at parkour, and yeah, they're, they're cool, Sam is cool. This one, this one, oh my god, this one, this one's just an anime girl, what is this? Oh, oh wow, oh my gosh, what? This, is, this is like, she has like Chinese clothes? This one's cool, she's like Chinese clothes. I'm gonna say she is the ultimate, like, not gonna do anything stereotypical. She's the ultimate, um, what is not stereotypical? She's the ultimate, uh, chef. There we go, she's the ultimate chef. She's really good at cooking. That's not stereotypical, it's like less stereotypical than like what it could be. Like, it could be like, oh, the ultimate, like, mahjong player. It's like the ultimate, like, massage therapist. I'm like, she's the ultimate cook. Um, she's really good at cooking. Um, oh, oh, I know, I know. The ultimate, like, party planner. How about that? She's really good at, like, preparing meals for everyone, organizing, like, buffets. Um, and her name is, is, uh, she probably has, like, a Chinese name. But I don't know. Um, maybe she has, like, a Chinese name that could also work in, like, Western continent. She has, she has, her name is Erica, Erica Lim. Anyway, her name is Erica Lim, and she is a the ultimate like party planner, I guess. She was always playing parties. She's cool. People like her kids. She's alright. And oh, this one's like a nerd. What the heck? So, hello, Davido, Vido. Welcome. Sam Smith. No, not Sam Smith. Sam Sam De La Cruz. That's the name. Sam De La Cruz. Spider Sam. Spider Sam. Okay, this this one this one is uh, this one's a nerd. Oh, she looks cool. She's she's the ultimate um time. She looks like she looks like Doctor Who. She's the ultimate time traveler. 
and she's like, I can travel through time! She'd be like, oh, that's why it's called the spare time! That's why it's called the spare time! Yeah, okay, she's the ultimate time traveler. Um, she could be the protagonist too. Hold up. She could be the protagonist. And her name is... is... Uh, uh, Tamara... 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 Because uh, it's like a joke on time. Like time travel. Tamara... Travera. Her name is Tamara Travera. And she, um, the twist is that, like, she keeps on talking that she can go back in time. No one believes her, but she actually can go back in time. But only, like, 30 minutes. And so that'll be, like, a big thing in the trial. It'll be like, oh, but I went back in time and I saw the killer. Or whatever. Yeah, she's Tamara Travera. And she is everyone's favorite. Everyone loves Tamara. Yeah, let's go with that. This one is, who's this? Oh, what the heck? What the heck? What the heck? It looks like a, it looks like a, Ventriloquist. I don't want to say ventriloquist though. Ultimate comedian. He's the ultimate comedian. And his name is Gordon. Gordon Ramsdale. Gordon. Gordon. Gordon Corden. His name's Gordon Corden. And he's the ultimate stand up comedian. And he's really like, everyone hates him because he makes like the worst puns. He's like, he's always pun ishing people with the really crappy puns. And he's really like self deprecating humor. No one likes Gordon Corden. He's really annoying. It's crazy how you're inventing so much from Invisible. <laughs> it's Gordon Corden, and it's gonna be like, like one day he'll make like a really forced pun, and like it's about like maybe like poisoning, and then the thing will be like, oh, you made a pun about poisoning. That means it was on your mind. And he's like, no, it wasn't on my mind. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Like that's that's what gets caught. Yeah, it's Gordon Corden. Gordon Corden is a uh, who's this one? This one's cool. Oh, he's like, oh my god, this guy's a scientist. Oh, 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 hold up. What if they're all like, what if it's like eight of them are STEM and eight of them are like humanities? So it's like we have, I already forgot, I already forgot most their names, but like we have the parkour one, we have the, 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 the weight, okay, I guess it's not STEM. Okay, whatever, whatever, we have like time traveler, we have like the more science based and the more like artsy based. And it's like, that's how the, it's like, it's like, that's how the classes feel. We have the artsy kids, you have the, the jocks, you have the, the, and the whole, theme of the game is like breaking the status quo like for example we have joseph gordon where it's like you think oh he's just a pretty face he's just a sexy boy or girl or non-binary but it's um but he's actually like really buff so it's like oh wow it's like you're 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 into arts and stuff but you're like super buff that's not natural anyway this is he's a, he's a or her actually i'm gonna say it's a guy they go by doctor like no first names doctor Doctor, this is a D as well, not Dr. Doctor Newfinch, Doctor, Doctor, uh, Doctor, Doctor Dadario, Doctor Dadario, and they are, or he is a, the ultimate, I don't say scientist, that's so boring, so boring, ultimate, it needs to be like a unique science, ultimate geologist, like they're into rocks, he's really into rocks, he can tell you like 20 facts about rocks in like a minute. That's how much he loves rocks. And everyone doesn't like Dr. Nadario because they're so, they're, you know, so annoying with rocks. First name, Doctor. It's like, what's your, what's your real name? He's like, this is my real name. This is Doctor. Dr. Nadario. Everyone loves Dr. Nadario. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Dr. Nadario. Oh, this one, this one's also, what the heck? This one's like also a scientist. What? This one's, this one's a doctor. What the heck? This one's also a doctor. Huh. Okay. This one will be named... Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, Hart, Hart, last name of Hart, Hart Sturgeon, this is Hart Sturgeon, and they are a heart surgeon, that's it, that's, that's all I can come up with, they're probably like, I, I don't care about Hart Sturgeon, they're, they're kind of like boring, uh, and like, that is your token like doctor kid, this is Dr. Nadario, he's only good at rocks, but he's good at like autopsy, and his whole thing is that he's actually really bad at his job, so it's like, oh, the time of death was seven. It's like, no, the time of death has to have been two. It can't be seven. Dr. Heart Sturgeon, you're lying. Heart Sturgeon, that's the name of Heart Sturgeon. <laughs> Dr. Dadar, yeah, it's a little close to Dr. Nefario. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> yeah, this, this one is, uh, what's the blue hair? This one, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, she looks, she looks like a waitress. What? Um, reminds me of Nagisa from, uh, both Assassination Classroom and Ultra, Ultra Spirit Girls. I'm gonna say Nagisa. Nagisa. 
uh, Nagisa Makima. Nagisa Makima is the name. And she is the ultimate. What could she be? What could she be? Oh, I'll, t oh, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm looking at her shoes. I'm looking at her clothes. I think, I think she's a bowler. I'm looking at like her socks and her shoes. Yeah, I think she's a bowler. Ultimate bowler. So it's like maybe like one of the cases will be like bowling alley. And it's like where's the where's the where's the head of the victim? The head is gone. And then it's revealed that she used the head as a bowling ball. And it's like it's inside the gutter where the pins are, and no one was able to find the head because it's in the bowling alley where the pins are. Yeah, she's the ultimate like bowler. Yeah, that's the Nagisa Makima is. I'm gonna say she's like okay, she's she's fine. No one really cares. She's, she's good. She's not like she's not like too iconic, but people are like I like Maki, Nagisa Makima. She's cool. The ultimate bowler. Let's go ahead. This last. Oh my gosh, this one's so mad. This is like Apollo, but like angry. What the heck? It's like Apollo. Apollo's like angry brother. What the heck? It's like Apollo. Wait, where? where, where I don't, I, don't, I don't see this. Oh, he's at the edge. Oh, he looks like a Quidditch player. What if, what if it's... What if it's... Oh, what if this is a Harry Potter parody action? This could be a Harry Potter parody, I feel. Ah. Ultimate Quidditch player, maybe? That's a bit risky in this day and age, Harry Potter, but I, you know, I think Ult of Despair Time... When did Despair Time come out? If it came out in, like, you know, like 2017, I'll give him credit for crazy. Uh, Despair Time. I don't want to look at the name, but I just want to see when it came out. Oh my gosh! What the heck? Is it done? No way. Is it done? No, chapter 2, episode 11. Okay, it's not done. It came out four years ago. God damn. God damn. 2020. Okay. It hasn't released anything in over a year. That's a bit concerning. What? Uh, okay, let's. let's uh, bah. Justice. Last name Justice, because I said Apollo's angry brother. This is this is the ultimate Quidditch player. Their name is Harry Justice. No, that's stupid. Draco Draco Justice. They're Draco Justice. That's a cool name, actually. Draco Justice. <laughs> Draco Justice. And they are the ultimate Quidditch player. And it's kind of like th this one and the Pokemon one are always fighting. So, like, oh no, my 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 hyperfixation is cooler. It's like no, oh, my hyperfixation is cooler. Quidditch is cooler. No, Kusimon is cooler. Ah. And they just like fight over it. It's like you're you're you're, you're stupid. You can capture monsters in tiny balls. It's like yeah, you're stupid. You can, you know, you catch a golden snip, golden 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 little boy, and you uh, win like a thousand points. That's bullshit. So yeah, Draco Draco Justice is like he's he's like usually okay, but then because J.K. Rowling is a bad person, like, I don't like Draco Justice. He represents J.K. Rowling too much. <laughs> Draco Justice. You should have a reaction to spare time you're done with this record. If you're gonna search anything, only do so once you watch all the videos, people that's going Yeah, no, I only saw the, I only typed the YouTube channel, I only saw the, I wanted to see the upload date. Was, they released it in 2020, and they haven't had a chapter in years. So. Hopefully they get a chapter soon, because it looks good. I like the art style, it's pretty good. But yeah. No, these are, these are the characters. There you go, so I, I uh, to recap, we have Mono Screen. We have, I, I don't even remember the name anymore. God dang it. <laughs> this is the art one? Okay, never mind. I can't recap the names. I don't remember them. Um, no, that, that one was O'Keefe. Something. This is Monet O'Keefe. That's her name. Monet O'Keefe. <laughs> there you go. I've named the characters. I hope you're happy. Square time. So hopefully, hopefully. I'm excited. Hopefully it subverts my expectations. Maybe not too much, but just a little bit at least. I like, I like Desperate Heart. I think it, 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 it does a lot of things right. I think he does a lot of I'm just, uh... Well, chapter chapter 2 was so much more well put together than chapter 1. It helps that it was voice acted as well. That helps a lot. So hopefully it's all uphill from here. Anyway, one more. I'm gonna do one more though in the stream. Oh, god damn it. This one's hard. <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this one. We're gonna do a... Sporkle quiz. Uh, that's not how you spell Dino Robot. I spelled it so bad. Oh, I'll tell you what. We're, we're going to do what Daniel and I did. Just for fun. 
spare time is so damn good. I hope it is. Right, here we go. Here we go. You ready? This is how we're going to end the stream. You are addicted. You're addicted. No, I don't want to do that one. That's not all of them, is it? It's not 23. There's way more than 24. What is this? Taste of dirty. Taste of dirty. This is what me and Daniel did. This is what me and Daniel did. He did not do that well, but I'm going to do well. Oh. Here we go. Are we ready? Ready? Let's do this. Turnabout goodbyes. Turnabout sisters. The first turnabout. Turnabout. Turnabout samurai. That's not how you spell turnabout. I'm just gonna copy this. I'm just gonna copy turnabout because I'm gonna be repeating it a lot. Rise from the ashes. The lost turnabout. Turnabout big top. Farewell, my turnabout. Reunion and turnabout, turnabout memories, turnabout. The stolen turnabout, recipe for turnabout, turnabout. Goodbye. No, I already did that one. Turnabout. Uh... Crap. What was it called? What was what was the, the fourth case of trials and tribulations called? Crap. About. Oh crap, I don't remember. Turn about beginnings, that's what it's called. <laughs> uh, the bridge to turn about. Turn about Trump. Turn about corner. Turn about serenade. Turn about succession. Uh, turn about target. No, that's not the right one. Turn about visitor. Turn about the kidnap turn about. What's case two? Crap, what's case two? Turnabout Airlines. Turnabout. Reminiscence. I don't know how to spell reminiscence. There we go. Turnabout Blaze. See, I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> Turnabout. Uh, the Imprisoned Turnabout. The Inherited Turnabout, The Grand Turnabout, The Forgotten Turnabout. Turnabout, oh crap, it's on the bomb, crap, target? No, turn, crap, it's on the bomb! Explosion. What about, oh crap, that's, that's gonna be all the kills, I don't remember what it's called. The Monstrous Turnabout, I spell it wrong. Turnabout Academy. Turnabout Cosmic. Turnabout. Turnabout Fortune Combo. Turnabout Acclaimed. I'm, I'm, my brightness. Your foot is stuck inside the road? What? How'd that happen? Turn. What's the road of the bomb? I don't remember. Turnabout Time Traveler. The right of turnabout. Turnabout plusy. Turn the magical turnabout. The foreign turnabout. Turnabout revolution. I'm not gonna be able to name the uh, greatest three cases. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to name them. The adventures of Ara Odo I don't even know how to spell his name. I can't do it. It's this one. If I can name this one, then I consider it a win. I'm not going to name the greatest three ones because I don't remember them. I know one of them is Twisted Karma and his last bow. <laughs> That's one of them. <laughs> Crap, what's that? Oh my gosh, I don't remember that one. That one's going to kill me. I don't remember what it's called. One of the bomb. 
The exploded turnabout. The exploded turnabout. The, the bombing turnabout. The turnabout. Turnabout visitor. Turnabout target. Turnabout terrorist. <laughs> turnabout. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I don't give. I don't know what it's called. Here I come. Here I come. All right. Well, there we go, guys. I uh, test myself. Did pretty good. I named all of them except for Turnabout Countdown. And also the great of these few ones, but yeah, I was also gonna get the I probably could have gotten like a few of them. Blossom Attorney was never good. On Speckled Band, I was like, great departure, but never gonna get it. On Speckled Story. Yeah, I was gonna get like five of them. But yeah, um, that's all for now. I guess I'll see you guys next week. And uh, I'm gonna release the podcast very soon, so check the channel in like 15 ish minutes. It'll be out before you know it. So, goodbye, everybody. Good night.